Real reality television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on cheaters. With grave concerns regarding his girlfriend's lack of attention, Brandon Morrow fears her neglect stems from outside forces. Hoping to reinvigorate the passion they once shared, he asks for help from seasoned professionals. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. I haven't, I haven't seen anything from my own eyes. You know, I, I would, I just, I just feel that it's, it's, it's different. You know, when we first met, you know, we would all, you know, go out. You know, if our friends wanted to come, they'll come. But now, you know, if a friend, if she, you know, if I asked her about where are you going, oh, I'm going out with my friends. Oh, all right, well, you know, I'll come, you know, let, we can have a double date or something. Oh, no, we, we're just having a girl's night out tonight. And it seems like it's always a girl's night out, you know. I mean, and we don't get that much time. You know, the, the girls are getting more time than I am now. I feel like I done, I gave my all, you know, I give you everything you need. And in return, I get... You know, I get anger and I get yelled at and called names and, you know, I don't get to spend time with you and it's, man, I just want things to, you know, go back how it was, you know. I'm real hurt because of how, you know, I've been getting treated, you know, after all the things that I've been doing for her. But, um, I just, I just want the best, you know, for, for both of us, you know, I want to grow old with it, you know. And, it's, you know, it's kind of, it's been going downhill. It's not seeming like it's, it's really surviving right now. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Antronique Timmons, age 22. A woman accused of specializing in the pleasure of another man. Investigation Day 3. Despite little or no movement by the suspect over the past 48 hours, agents on duty remain diligent and resolve to give it one more day before adjourning the case. Their patience pays off as perimeter units outside the suspect's residence spot an unfamiliar vehicle approach and honk its horn. Soon after, the suspect, Antronique Timmons, emerges from her apartment and lets herself into the passenger seat of the car. Mobile units pursue the blue coupe down the highway, arriving finally at a movie theater. Timmons and an unknown male walk hand in hand across the parking lot and into the megaplex. A couple of hours pass before the couple reappear with popcorn in hand and return to the companion's car. Another short drive returns the duo to the Timmons residence. The car shifts into park while the occupants share a long kiss in the cab. Timmons eventually exits the vehicle and returns to her apartment for the rest of the evening. Investigation Day 6. Perimeter units keep a close eye on the suspect's apartment as the unknown male from previous surveillance returns. He again shows his chivalry by blaring the horn for Timmons to come down. Sure enough, the suspect appears and enters the car. Mobile units follow the pair to a nearby restaurant. Once inside, the suspect and her companion, whose identity remains withheld, enjoy some famous wings and a couple of beers while watching a baseball game on the big screen. Upon finishing their meals, the two depart the eatery and return to Timmons' apartment complex. Once again, the coupe parks while the couple takes its time getting close in the cab. After a few minutes of making out, Timmons exits the car and returns to her apartment while her companion leaves for the remainder of the evening. Investigation Day 8. Agents remain steadfast as they spot suspect Timmons entering the vehicle of her mystery man. Mobile units track the duo past toll booths and through side streets until finally arriving at an apartment complex, presumed to be that of Timmons' companion. 
The car comes to rest in a reserved parking spot, and Timmons and her boyfriend hold hands while walking to an apartment unit. They are inside for quite some time before reappearing and heading to the pool area. Timmons strips off her shirt and jumps into the pool while her new buddy sits on the side and dips his toes. But it's Brandon who's all wet, as demonstrated in this recorded phone call. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? I wanted to apologize for the argument we got into the other night. So I was wondering if you want to come over so we can talk about it. Um, I'm a little busy right now. I'm shopping with my auntie. Why you been acting different with me lately? What are you talking about? Different. I mean, you've been acting real, you've been real distant from me. Brandon, you know we've been into it. I just, I just need some little time. Alright, love you, right? I know, I love you too. Alright. With enough evidence to close the case, investigators return all documentation to headquarters and put a call in to a worried Brandon. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that proof illuminates his girlfriend's stark dishonesty, Brandon is contacted to review the findings. As the gravity of the situation becomes clear, he readies himself for the weight of the truth. I know that you being here is taking a big step uh, because you've had some problems in your relationship with Antronique. Our detectives do have some information that may shed some light onto the questions and curiosities that you've been having. Are you ready to see that information now? I'm ready. Brandon, as we started our investigation, we were outside of your girlfriend's home. On this particular day, a vehicle pulls up, she comes out, gets inside, and from there, our investigators followed them both to a restaurant. I can't get her to go out with me no more. She going out with this dude here. Now we can see they go in, enjoying some sports. We can see that the two of them are consorting quite a bit at the table. After some wings, he drives her back to her place. There's a brief kiss before she goes in. And the gentleman leaves for the evening. Brandon, on this evening, her operatives were again in position outside of Antronique's apartment. As we've seen before, same gentleman pulls up. But on this night, after an extended drive, they pull into a different community they both exit, go into an apartment. Not long after that, they both exit, disrobe around the pool, and we can see the two of them as they frolic in the water. Oh, look at this blood lad dude, man. Why? Now, there's a point in time where her phone rings. She takes the phone call. And shortly thereafter, they change back into their clothes very quickly, scurry back to the car, and he brings her back to her home. Mm -hmm. She was picked up by this gentleman today. From work? So we know they're together now. Let's go ahead and get in the van. Right. I'll call the detective from there, and we'll find out exactly where they are. All right, let's go. Right. You sure you want to do this? Let's go. All right, come on with me. Yeah, we just finished up with a second. Okay. All right, they're there right now. That's where they landed. So it's the guy and two other girls and the suspect. So she's there with two other girlfriends. Okay, we'll be there in a second. Move quick, move quick. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? This is how we doing it? This how we doing it? What's this? What you doing? What you doing? Hey, what's good, man? What what's you up? doing? What's up? 
For sure. Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, bro, yeah, bro yeah, I don't even, I don't even know. This ain't got nothing to do with y'all. But this ain't got nothing to do with. I don't even know y'all. This ain't got nothing to do with you. What you doing? She just killing. Who is this? Who is that? Killing. That's all we doing. This ain't got nothing. Y'all need to move, bro. Just move. It's a friend. What you kiss? What you kissing on? You kissing on? Okay, don't worry. Back up. Give me some room. Give me some space. I even... seen you going to your Hooters and everything. No, so I what wasn't... you talking about? No, bro. If you can help us fill in some blanks, how did you meet this young lady? I met at the club. Look, go get your clothes, man. Go get your clothes, man. Look, I'm about to tell you like this, man. Lose my girl number, bro, and get your get the man. Like, was we do have a reason because we've had detectives doing? following her okay. so that doesn't mean anything they just been chilling oh, that's y'all. all they've been doing okay, yeah, friends my ass man just friends. friends my ass friends don't be kissing man coming up next the conclusion what you doing who is that just chilling that's this ain't just got nothing nah, y'all nah, need to nah, move nah, bro. Nah, friends my ass friends don't be kissing man Talk to cheaters, man. It's gonna be first for the eight. Woo! Oh, hold on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, come on, so we can talk, bro. Come on, so we can talk, bro. No, come on, so we can talk, man. You all right? No, I'm not. I don't know what the is. Look at this, man. All the people privacy. 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 Come on, man. Let's go. My man. Sorry. Get out of here. 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 Don't worry about that. Oh my Come on, God. man. Have to take all of these cameras, like, seriously. They make that move. Like, What's going on? I'll be doing for you, bro. Talk to me Making this money, man. I'm paying bills and man. Sorry, you out here doing me like this? You out here doing me Don't like this? Talk about it. I'm sorry. Seriously, what you talking about? What man? Know. What you want to talk about? You could have told me this way before all this happened. You could have. He could have told me on the phone, bro. Get your ass in the van, man. What's wrong with you, man? What old dude with that? Old dude got it gone, huh? I don't know. He's nobody, man. He nobody, but you kissing on him. You going out to eat, swimming with him? I, ain't, I can't pick you up, but he can pick you up. I'm sorry, babe. You sorry now because you got caught. That's I'm how sorry. that is, man. Say. I'm you sorry. You handling up, she wouldn't have to do it. Handling up, I'm paying bills. What you mean? I'm making money for her. You got friends. Friend. 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 What friends friend, you got? Friend. What friends y'all friend. got? What friends y'all got that y'all kiss, man? Listen, babe. Say. He's what you mean? So he's just what friends? So I can kiss. I can kiss hoes. I can kiss different females. Nah, control your. Bro, control your pants. Friends don't, like friends don't kiss each other, bro. You, what friend you know? What friend you seen me kiss? I'm sorry. What friend you seen me go out the hooters with? What friend you seen me go swimming with? I'm you know sorry, what I'm saying? Hey, Got this man picking you up and all this. Why, why I'm paying your phone bitch so you can talk to this? No, I'm sorry. She'll see if she don't see now. She blinded. You gon' regret it. So listen to us. We the ones been there for you, honey. He ain't been there. What, what he was doing that I couldn't do. He was keeping me, he, he was having conversations with me. Conversations. We don't talk anymore about nothing. I work, bro. I mean, I'm That's making That's all you I'm, do I'm is work. Money right. is not everything no more, B. I'm uh, sorry, I needed the attention that I need. Yeah, you can get attention on the street with no money, with no house. How the, how the f you gonna live with no money? What you talking about? The money is not everything. I need attention. Okay. And he wasn't giving but that to me, so. You gotta know. Just get out the bed with him. It's not even worth it. You wasting your time. You still gonna be unhappy. Your bills ain't gonna be paid. The 
ain't gonna beat her. So just get out the bed with him. You're wasting your time. Man, females say they want a good man. But then when you have one right in front of her, you know how to f it up. Hey, can I get my sister out the car? Come on, she not finna ride with y'all. I don't trust him. Go comb your hair. Yeah, no, that's alright. Don't. That's all right. Why? Why do you want to go home, bro? Go ahead and go. Go ahead and go. You gonna leave with the joke? Oh, she really don't have no nothing to do. You gonna leave with the joke? Toya, didn't I say go? Didn't I say I'm gonna call you? I said I was gonna call you. I'm not gonna be there, bro. I'm not gonna be there. If you gonna leave with the joke? Bro, no, nah, man. I will call you. So, so this is how you choosing up? You choosing up? That's, that's how you choosing hey, up? Bro, I'm uh, this is my man. Him, this is my man. I've been with him for five yeah, years. Y'all don't know nothing about him. No, seriously. Y'all need to go. Nah. Fire back, man. Go home, I'll call you. Toya, go. 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 Your hair ain't cool and your face ain't cool. Oh, come on, Brandon. Hey, man, Brandon. go home, man. You're above that. Go home. Hey, Brandon. Go. Be above that. Okay. All right, I know you. You see what she oh, is, though, huh? Brandon. Don't worry about it. Following the confrontation, Brandon searches his heart for the love he once had. At the end of the show, we'll reveal if it's discovered. But now, Cheaters presents Denise Miller former complacent party wishing to discuss her willing participation in an affair with Lisa Goodman's husband. Well, I guess she busted us because her husband, Jimmy, and I were, you know, we were fooling around a bit, and uh, she tried to make a big thing out of it that he had quit his job because of me, but she didn't know. That bitch did not know. He got fired. Lisa? Yeah, I guess you're real pleased to see me, aren't you? Uh, what are you doing there? Well, what are see, you doing here? We've been following her husband. Oh, yes. So we know that, well, and do we have to play this game, really? Do you want me to go through it? Sure. You know, how many people wish they had the balls to go out and have fun instead of worrying about, oh, what is they going to say? Oh, oh, you know, screw everybody. Life is too short to just sit here and worry about what other people are going to say. So, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to live my life. You know, they say dance like no one is watching you dance. Well, I'm going to live my life like nobody's watching me live my life. <laughs> call me when you calm down. <laughs> I keep asking you to stay home, and you won't. You stay home all the time. That's all we do is stay home. I can't always know if I'm going to go out or not. Bye. See you later. Thanks. You know what I can't believe is that you can't go out, you can't do anything, but you can wrangle all this together and get here. all this together. I'm here now. All I did all this was together. hire you couldn't, this company. You couldn't, you couldn't go out to a bar with me or do anything with me, stay at home because you're ill, and I've been hearing that for 20 years that you're saying, yeah, well, so but, I, but you can wrangle all wait this a together. Minute. The sad part about it is that I'm just a bitch. I don't even care. And I don't know if that's so sad or not, because I have a lot of fun. <laughs> With the truth finally out in the open, Brandon Morrow hopes that a new chapter in his relationship with Ms. Timmons can begin. He says, I think she now understands how much I really do love her. Brandon has taken this opportunity to seek relationship counseling and is hoping that communication will be the key in continuing his relationship with the suspect. Antronique Timmons is quite distraught by her actions and hopes to prove her love to Brandon. She and Brandon are currently looking for an apartment together. Ms. Timmons comes. Hey, please. Faster! Yeah, baby. I'm on hand, how you? Get out of my face! Oh, my God! No, I cheated. Now you're a comedian. That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real reality television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on Cheaters. Always a person to put someone else first. Beverly Dugan believes she finally found a man whose devotion to her was unquestionable. Despite giving him a hand up, she's discovered discrepancies in both his actions and his words. 
desperate to understand what is happening to her relationship. She seeks guidance from expert tacticians. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. When I first met Doug, he had, uh, he's been, he was going through a really hard time. It was like he hit rock bottom. He had a lot of things happen to him uh, all at once. It, you know, he went through this divorce with this woman that, you know, he, they were partying really hard and, and drinking and, you know, getting high all the time and staying out, whatever. And then he was in a motorcycle accident that uh, caused him to lose hearing. And he was just really at rock bottom when I met Doug. I was kind of lost when I met Doug myself. Even though there were accomplishments that I had achieved, I was still empty inside. And when I found him, I felt that I was complete. The things that we had planned to do together don't seem as important to him anymore. He's not coming home like he used to, and he's, he's making excuses about work. And uh, I come across this cell phone in his car that I've never seen before, and his behavior is changing, and his uh, demeanor is changing. And it's almost like I don't even know him anymore. I'm devastated that I've had to be reduced to this, that he can't communicate to me if there's something going on, that I've been there for him for so long, and he can trust me, that, that now I can't trust him. And uh, it hurts, it hurts. My heart, I feel like, I feel like there's a hook in it, and it's just, and it's pulling me. And I, I just can't take it anymore. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Doug Wickheiser, age 39. An artist suspected of getting graphic with willing women. Investigation Day 2. Agents track their subject through his day-to-day -day activities. He arrived at his band's rehearsal studio. Following protocol, tactical agents spot the studio's door open and the suspect, identified as Doug Wickheiser, exits. It is apparent that an unknown female is with him. With his arm around her, Wickheiser guides her into the passenger seat of his vehicle. The couple is followed to a nearby fast food restaurant. Through the window, Wickheiser makes grand gestures with his hands, while his companion remains captivated. They finish their meal and return to Wickheiser's truck, the same truck that Beverly assisted in purchasing. Mobile units follow the pair back to the parking lot of the rehearsal studio and watch as Wickheiser and his date attempt to see just how roomy a king-size cab can be. Wickheiser's groupie straddles the rock star. The two remain in that position for a number of minutes, kissing one another before they finally call it a night and go their separate ways for the evening. Investigation Day 5. Knowing that complainant Beverly will be out late due to charitable activities, agents on duty remain at the ready. Stationed with a clear line of sight to the troubled couple's apartment, they see the companion from earlier surveillance arriving. Wickheiser greets his guest by her car. The woman, now identified as April Wickheiser, the suspect's ex-wife, follows her former husband up the stairs and into the apartment of his current fiance. Internal cameras placed earlier by Beverly capture the couple grabbing some beers from the kitchen before entering the bedroom. They later emerge carrying towels and dressed as if they're headed for the beach. They exit and are tailed to the apartment's swimming pool. Under the cover of night, the former Mr. and Mrs. play in the moonlight, as if trying to rekindle what once was. With the time of Beverly's impending arrival looming, the two return to the apartment. With Mr. Wickheiser in the bathroom, Ms. Wickheiser takes the opportunity to procure a small digital camera from the bookcase. With it safely in her purse, she acts as if nothing is wrong as she kisses and hugs her man goodbye. Investigation Day 9. Working late, the suspect is the last to leave, except for Cheater's agents tailing him. Wickheiser confounds the agents by slowly cruising the streets of a residential neighborhood. 
The method of his madness is revealed when he picks up his ex-wife on the side of the road. Further investigation of Ms. Wickheiser reveals that she's been living for two years with a man near the pickup location. The couple is apparently of the opinion that they have all night. That thought is debunked, however, in this recorded phone call with Beverly. Hello? Hey, baby, what's going on? Uh, just walked in the door and just, he's just worn out. I've been trying to call you, but I haven't been able to reach you. Well, it's like everybody's been blowing my phone up, like everybody's their damn mother, and I'm just not answering the phone, just kind of disappearing well, from everyone. I'm on my way home in a few minutes, so I was hoping that you'd be up to see a movie. Uh, already? You know we don't get home till later. I'll be there in just a few minutes. I'll see you then. Okay. I love you. Love you too. As Ms. Wickheiser and Beverly pass each other in the parking lot, agents call the case closed and begin the process of compiling the incendiary information. Coming up, the confrontation. With the suspect's dishonesty well documented, Cheaters meets with Beverly to discuss the findings. Putting aside her distress, Beverly steadies herself for the painful truth. Beverly, thank you for your response. I know this is something that's been troubling you for a while. Our detectives do have some information that they thought it'd be very important for you to see. I knew it. Late this day, Doug was observed as he left the building. He's in the company of a young lady. They get into his truck. They go to a restaurant to grab something to eat. After eating, they get back into Doug's vehicle and return to the studio. Now, once they get there, they don't immediately go in. She leans over to him there appears to be a kiss and that's confirmed as she mounts Doug on the driver's side of the vehicle they share a few intimate moments before she gets out goes back inside and he leaves Beverly on this evening our detective was outside of your home Doug exits, stands around in the parking lot for a short period of time, and then we see the reason. As a vehicle pulls up, it's the same young lady from the studio. Doug greets her. Oh my God. And they go into your apartment. Oh my God. Fortunately, we were able to access the cameras that you placed in there. They go into another area, and when they return, they're wearing a tire that would suggest they're headed out to the pool. Our detective in close pursuit was able to capture their activities out by the pool. Now, we ran a check on the license plate and this woman is Doug's ex-wife. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's, he's going back to her. He's going back, so he is on drugs. He is all up. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe this. I want to call our detective and let him know how close we are because there's a specific reason that we're headed there. Ken, we're, we're on our way and we're getting close. I think she arrived there, but she took public transportation, but she's at your home. She better not be in my home. I think they're, they're where'd you say they're out by the pool? I can't believe he's seen his ex wife. Okay. I can't believe right. this is happening right now. We're just minutes out. I can't out. believe it. We'll call you when we enter. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, uh oh. Watch the shoes. Someone get the shoes. You mother. You mother. You mother. I told you. What the are you doing here?
away from nothing me. Is Get the out of my face. Easy, easy. Get the out of my face. Okay. Hey, nothing is going on. Nothing is going on. Listen. Nothing is going on. I've had enough. I've had enough. Give me your keys. Give me your keys. What? It's my place. It's my car. He's my. Easy, easy, easy. Give me okay, my keys. I'm done with this. Nothing I'm is gone. going on. I'm That's it. I'm sorry. You. I can't believe after everything I did for you, everything I've done for you. Nothing is going on. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Get out of my Nothing face. Nothing is going on. Get the out of my face. Coming up, the conclusion. They're out by the pool. Oh my God! What the f are you doing here? You better get the f out of here. Get out of my Nothing face. Nothing is going on. Get the f out of my face! Man, I'm not doing it. I'm getting out of here. You're out. You're out. You need to get you? the f out yeah. of my face. Dude, get the f out of my face. Get the f out of my face. Go get your. Get out of my apartment and get the. F out. Go with her. I've had enough. It's over. I've where had enough. Go? I don't give a f where you go. Can I please have my keys? You, that's my car. Go. You need to go. Go. I mean, mother. You better go. You need to go. Go. Where did she go? What are you gonna call me home? Hey, and Doug, just so you know, April's been housing your stuff too. She stole go, your Doug. camera. She I've stole had enough. Go. Just listen to me. I don't want to give. I don't give a what you got to say. You need to go. Get the out. You need to get the out here. Me, go. Please. Go. Please. Just go. Listen. Just listen to me. I don't give a what you got to say. Go. You know what? I gave you everything. I gave you a car. I gave you a place to live. And this is what you do. This is how you pay me back. You know what? Just listen to I took me. care of you after accident. I don't give a get out of my face. All right. Let's see what he. Just listen to him for a second. See what he has to say. Call me, okay? Okay, guys, enough already. You got enough. Get that thing out of my face. <laughs> Get the camera out of my face, dude. I'm gonna knock Doug. it out. Doug. Let him, let him have a little room. Hey, Doug, can you hang on for a second? Everyone need a favor. You know why? Hey, hold on. Come on. Hey, let him walk. Come on. After the confrontation, Beverly composes herself while coming to terms with her reality. Stay tuned as Cheaters reveals her plans for the future. But first, Yvonne Houston stops in to explain her relationship with Carrie Rutherford's boyfriend when exposed on Cheaters. I honestly thought I was being punked. 
I didn't know what was going on. I saw all these cameras. I just thought, where's Ashton Kutcher? And then I looked and I saw a shirt and it said cheaters. And I was just like, what is going on? And then when she picked up the bottle of wine and started throwing it at us or trying to throw it at Royale, I knew. I knew it was her because she's crazy. You weren't expecting me. Oh, look at this. Are you this, 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 this is exactly why. You're going to lay. This is exactly why. You're crazy. He's moved in with me now. We can't help that we fell in love with each other. And if falling in love with each other is considered cheating, then I guess, yeah, he did. He cheated on her with me. Um, I wasn't really upset with him, um, but we I did feel as though it was a little bit embarrassing for me. So, you know, I just, we kind of just discussed what had happened and how things could have been handled better. And, um, you know, we got we got through that, and now we're working on our relationship, and she's out of our life. You leave, you gonna leave with her? You gonna, you gonna leave? Oh, you, 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 you gonna just destroy their property like that? You, 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 gonna, you gonna destroy their property? You want these I'm done with you ass. You done? Hell yeah. You brought the ass. You brought the ass. You brought the ass. You You can't be as done as I am. You can't, you, be, you, you can't be as done as I am. You can't be as done as I am. You can't be as done as I am. That's where you need to go because your ass is crazy. I honestly think that she felt as though she had something to worry about because of her own actions and what she has been doing when she goes out of town for three weeks at a time. I mean, there's no way that she could be being faithful overseas the way that, I mean, he's, he never, he barely talks to her. He never sees her. So it, it has to be a feeling of guilt that brought her to want to call cheaters. Unable to understand her boyfriend's deplorable actions, Beverly Dugan has decided to sever all ties with Mr. Wickheiser. Beverly made sure that Wickheiser got everything he came into the relationship with and nothing more. She's currently enjoying the single life and concentrating on her charity work with the impoverished elderly. Doug Wickheiser admits fault regarding his indiscretions with his former wife. He claims that his ex-wife came to him with financial problems. He tried to turn her away, but that old spark returned. He is currently living at his rehearsal studio and wishes only that Beverly would return his calls. For her part in the scandal, April Wickheiser says Doug pursued her. She states that he never stopped harassing her and she became weak to his advances. When pressed about the sequence of events, she became unwilling to cooperate and refused further contact with... Hey, please. Now you're a comedian. That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real Reality Television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. With considerable mistrust concerning her beloved boyfriend, Latoya Knowles is at a crossroads on where to turn. Needing assistance to untangle his web of lies, Latoya seeks those who specialize in uncovering the truth. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. I had a lover of 18 years that passed away, and, um, and I, I couldn't deal with that. So when he came into my life, changed a lot of that. And um, he, he just makes me the most happiest person now. Prior to me working at another job lately and not being able to perform as a female impersonator at nighttime, uh, he's always at the club by himself. Me doesn't do anything together. Even like when I'm at work during the daytime, I call and he's like, you know what I'm saying, the phone will keep ringing when I know he should be home. Um, and like I said, when I get home, he's either on the couch, he's tired or whatever. So things just begin to be real sour and it causes arguments and now he's sleeping in one end of the room and I'm sleeping in the other end of the room. And then another thing too, as a female in person, and I have served, I wear certain type of hair as I perform. And I have been finding some odd little hair and some different stuff from different types of, you know what I'm saying, illusion pieces inside of my house that I know is not mine. I'm gonna kick his ass, I'm gonna, I'm a, I'm a, it's just no telling what I'm going to do to 
um, just God be with him because if is cheating on me, like I suspect, then I'm 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 gonna like I say, all this woman that sent me is gonna come to all men, and I'm gonna beat his ass. I'm gonna beat him like like we're in a boxing ring. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Suspect's identity withheld, age 30. A cook accused of injecting some spice into an old recipe. Investigation day one. After gathering preliminary data for the case, perimeter units watch as the client, dressed in his civilian clothes, exits the home he shares with the suspect and heads to work for the day. Internal surveillance cameras placed by complainant Knowles capture the suspect, whose identity remains withheld, sitting on the couch watching television. A short time later, an unknown female enters the apartment and greets the suspect. Soon, however, the suspect and his companion gather the client's two hounds and take them for a walk. Perimeter agents watch as the couple slowly ambles along the border of the complex. The two seem quite comfortable with one another as they walk arm in arm. After the dogs have concluded their business, the pack heads back toward their apartment. One of the canines, however, catches scent of another animal, causing the suspect's companion to strain her muscles to remain in control of the animal. Back inside, the dogs are unleashed, as is the passion between the suspect and his paramour. The two kiss for a number of moments before finally departing each other's company for the evening. Investigation Day 3. Intel provided by Knowles indicates that he will be visiting his mother for the evening, leaving the suspect alone. Inside the apartment, Knowles' boyfriend is relaxing in front of the television. A short time later, the companion from previous surveillance is spotted arriving at the apartment's front door and is escorted inside. The two make merry on the couch. The suspect's companion demands tribute from her suitor and receives a shoulder massage. While the suspect retrieves refreshments from the kitchen, his companion takes the time to straighten her bosom. The two drink some wine before the companion reciprocates the massage. A few more glasses are emptied and kisses are exchanged before the couple call it a night, ending this day of investigation. Investigation Day 6. Perimeter units watch as the client exits his apartment and heads for his job. Not long after, field agents observe the suspect's companion, now identified only as Shannon, exiting from a nearby unit and sauntering over to the suspect's unit. She enters and greets the lounging Lothario. He puts on his shoes and the couple leave the apartment complex on foot. The playful pair is followed to a nearby convenience store where they make some purchases. The suspect's recipe for lies is observed in this recorded phone call with Nose. Hello. Hi, baby. Hi. What you doing? Think about this. Hey, I need food, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, boo, do you want to go with me tonight and see me for home, too? Yeah. Like old time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real cool. Take the time out for me and go in there and find my little gold shoes for me, baby. I don't know. Really work this show for you tonight. Uh -huh. I'm going to let you hear your city of the baby. You know the one that you like. Uh -huh. With a plethora of proof indicting the suspect's infidelity, agents close the case and return to headquarters to prepare the briefing. Coming up, the confrontation. With the suspect's secrets brought to light, Cheaters calls on LaToya to deliver the results. Presented with the facts of the deteriorating relationship, LaToya contemplates her next course of action. I know this is a unique situation for us, but we stand here tonight ready to provide you with the information that our detectives have compiled. Okay. Are you ready to see that now? I'm ready. 
on this evening, we had a detective that was stationed outside of your apartment. We see a gentleman leaving. This is you on your way to work. That's your that uniform. That is correct. Mm -hmm. We had you place some hidden cameras inside your apartment. We see through the camera that you place inside, sitting down on the sofa, relaxing. A few moments later, a young lady enters. Obviously, she let herself in. They greet one another. They collect the dogs, take them for a walk. And as they return, you can see that they're walking arm in arm. I can't believe he let someone else walk my dogs. My dogs are my pride and joy. They go inside. There's a short embrace. And then the young lady appears to leave. Now, on this evening, our detective was able to capture you as you took the dogs for a walk. And from what you shared with our investigator, you then went to your mom's house. Yes. Our detective was still outside, and he was able to capture a young lady once again entering your apartment. Answers, and they go inside. Now, immediately upon her arrival, we see that this interlude takes on a different tone as she climbs on him, and then they give one another massages, they share some wine, they're relaxing on the sofa, and all this is now taking place while you're at your mom's. They embrace again at the door. She leaves for the evening and returns inside. I can't remember. <laughs> okay. You all right? I'm not okay. No. You want to take a moment? I have to know. I have to know the rest. Okay. <sighs> now, Latoya, I'll call the detective now and find out what's taking place at the moment. Hello? Gomez. We just finished up with a briefing. What do you have on your end? Uh, the suspect left the apartment after being visited by the third party. Okay. And had walked to a club nearby. Okay. We're going to load up and head in your direction. Are you going to meet us out in the parking lot? Yeah, I'll meet you up uh, back at the building. All right. Uh -huh. Sounds good. See you in a couple seconds. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Latoya, yes. come with Hi. me. How close do you live to this location? Hang on. Gomez, we're ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's just make sure he doesn't run back to the apartment. Keep going. Hurry up. Coming up next, the conclusion. Come on, huh? You come get your mother 
clothes out my house, bitch. Bye, bitch. You come get your clothes out you my, house. my house. You ain't got Whatever. any needs. Bitch, I have all things. this. Huh? Yeah, he that ain't what he want. He want real. So I've been with you for two years. You. You all right, baby? Yeah. Yeah. If you were unhappy, you did. It's always at work. You always at work. You always at work. Excuse me, can y'all please move? We're asking y'all nicely. You're not gonna talk to me. I seen you bring the bitch in my house. And you gonna sit up and just play that after you know everything I done been through? He's going home with me. He's done with you. Get but over it. You know what? You kind of playing like living in the same place. We all be able to talk. Woman to mother. Woman. You won't stick in that no more? Where you think you going? Come on. Come on. Bitch, go in the house. Come away. You better come talk to me. We'll let all these cameras around and talk about what we gotta talk about, baby. I left my purse at baby, the club. Baby, I'm gonna no baby now. Bitch, ain't this your house? I, left my I ain't seen you go in there. I, left my I ain't seen you go in there. Cut Don't those cameras, please. Cut those I ain't gotta cameras. cut no more cameras off. Oh, yeah, they need to cut those cameras. And that's my sister's house. That that's my sister's house. So I don't care who it is, yeah. bitch. You know my family, love. love. I'm not talking to you to you get your girl back. You want to rub my hair? What you want to rub her hair for? Miss Thang. Miss Thang is doing her mother house. Miss Thang. Miss Thang what? Miss Thang. Bitch, you better not touch my stuff. I will give me some. Miss Thang. 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 Bitch, you shot. You all right, baby? You need a captain save a hoe. Bitch, you better go on on, ho. Uh, Bitch, you better go on on. I'm trying to talk to my dude. He ain't yours, my um, who, who, Whose man are you, baby? Huh? Are you, are you my man? I ain't no Ronnie. Come here, boo. I ain't no Ronnie. I ain't no Ronnie, boo. Don't let that mother. Say he running away. Bitch, I'm talking. You like a drag. He's not drag Ronnie. Queen. He not drag running. He just tired of dealing with this elevator. He might elevator be. man. He might be, cause I'm off that. I'm off drum. Okay. Well, why he well, leaving? Well, bitch, I didn't, I didn't bring drum. I don't want you to bring it to me. Well, I didn't bring it to you. Okay, well. Come get the up. Up. Uh, I told you he on some clothes. Bitch, I told you. Get that bitch. Yo, what's up? Get that bitch. Shut up talking to me, bitch. I told you to shut up talking to me, bitch. He already got new clothes. He already got new clothes there. Bitch, you ain't this pink ass bonnet rap. And he hopping all up in this. Might be, bitch, but you better see how them bills gonna hop. You fighting over this man that's not yours anymore. I ain't worried about it. You fighting over a man that's not yours. No, bitch, I was fighting you because you disrespected me. Where my hair? Where my hair? Come on, baby. Where my hair? Where my house? Yeah, bitch. And, and I live right there. And she live one block from me. Motherfucker, lay in her damn house every motherfucking night. And won't lay over here and cheat like a mother. And think you ain't gonna get caught. Mm-hmm. That Not was a mother lie. Not up in That's here. okay, sister. I got this. Thank you. I thank love you. you. Thank you. I got this. I, I love you. Sister. Uh-huh. All right. I love you. Call me when you make it home. I will. Damn it. Been going to wait on them hoes to get beat up, drop up, beat up again. So they got the wrong one. I'll get it out. And chuck it up by my mother hell. That's what I'm ready to do. All right. Following the confrontation, Latoya fights through the pain of betrayal. Stay tuned when we reveal what lies ahead. But first, Cheaters chats with the suspect from the Crystal Colburn case. Curtis Snow tries to set the record straight by explaining his mindset when busted by cheaters. So we eating at the table, then I seen them number people crowding around, like flashing cameras and stuff. I feel upset. I need I thought we had trust. I didn't know she would have called tears on me. Curtis, what is you doing up here with this white bitch? Going on. You doing up with her? I'm you 
told me that you was gonna be up here at Hooters. No, no. What you doing up here? No, no. What you doing up here? No, no. What, where you meet him at? So we can just be like Tiger Woods, like he did his wife when he teed on her with 14 females. And she took him back, but that's wish you could take me back because I teed on you with one female. Is there a reason that you're here with this young lady? Because she be tripping at home. Okay, I be she be getting the clock, the car, and everything. Okay, but, but you come so, home so you weren't happy in your relationship? Huh? So you weren't happy in your relationship? No, I wasn't happy. Okay, well, but why didn't you just break up with her then? Well, we can break up. We can break up? Where your stuff will be outside? I let them crackheads get a hold of your stuff. I don't give a damn. Okay, what's up then? Come on, now, come on. I cheated on her with a female that worked down the street from me. You know what I'm saying? She gave me quite the time, treat me more than just a friend. You know, I was cheating. I messed up. I said to end the relationship in the right way instead of just cheating behind her back. After the shock of the betrayal waned, Latoya Knowles decided to put the messy business of the relationship behind him, but blames himself for the affair. Knowles hopes that he'll find the love of his life one day, but understands that it takes a special kind of person to accept who he is. For his part, the suspect admitted to having an affair with Shannon and claimed it was meaningless. He tried to reconcile with Latoya, but to no avail. Shannon claims to be overjoyed by the attention she's received since being <coughs> discovered. She says, I can't wait for this to air. People will finally see my talent and devotion to my craft. As for the suspect, she says, That's what you deserve. Real reality television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on cheaters. With worries that her past transgressions are coming back to haunt her, Sylvia Waters is a woman at the end of her rope. Believing the man she loves is trading up again, Sylvia hopes to find solace once the truth is known. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. Jared was perfect at the beginning. Perfect. Always there, always did everything. And then all of a sudden he gets a new job and things start to change. Everything has changed about him, his attitude. He doesn't want to be with me at night. He will not even sleep with me in bed. He comes home late, and he does not have a reason why. Jared seems very, very detached between me and our son. Even my son has asked why, and um, he's staying in a different bedroom. We have two bedrooms. He's staying in a different bedroom, and I don't understand it. I don't know what's going on. My son is feeling the emotion between both of us, and I don't want that. I love him with all my heart. And if he's doing something on me, I don't know if I can forgive him, but I'll try. Um, it'll take a while. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Jared, age 33, a businessman believed to have developed an illicit relationship with someone new. Investigation date two. Hoping to collect critical information, Cheaters Intelligence dispatches exploratory units to the suspect's place of employment. They soon spot the target, identified only as Jared, leaving work at the end of a long day. He mounts his motorcycle and is pursued to a nearby restaurant. Jared strides inside, and ground units are hot on his heels. Inside, he's discovered sharing a booth with an unknown female companion. 
The two sit close together while Jared's friend casually rests her upper appendages across his lap. They take some time to decide on their delicacies. And upon finishing their meal, Jared escorts his lady friend to her car. Their goodbyes consist of quite a long kiss before Jared leaves her with the leftovers bag and journeys home for the remainder of the evening. Investigation day four. Perimeter units wait for movement outside the suspect's place of employment. Well after closing time, a vehicle matching the make and model of Jared's prior companion is noticed entering the private parking garage. Once parked, the driver is positively identified as Michelle Youngers. The woman appears overdressed for such a warm night. She enters the building carrying a bag of takeout. There's little movement for almost two hours before periphery units spot the couple leaving together. Jared and Younger stroll through the parking lot holding hands. The impetuous duo with little regard for random observers then kiss passionately by Younger's car. As the couple parts, it's discovered that one kiss is just not enough, with one more lip-locking interlude required. Now that their carnal desires are temporarily satisfied, Jared and Youngers part ways for the rest of the night. Investigation Day 5. While primary agents track the suspect from his office, secondary units follow Youngers' vehicle as it arrives at the Waters residence. The targets appear to have prearranged their meeting time, greeting one another before entering the apartment. With the understanding that Sylvia would be working late, internal surveillance cameras previously set by the client catch the two getting quite comfortable on the couch. Jared provides his guest with some libation before she provides herself to him. Jared's carefree night is disrupted by this recorded phone call from Sylvia. Hey, I just thought I'd call and let you know that I'm getting off early, so maybe we could go out and have some dinner tonight. With the evidence in hand, investigators close the case and return to headquarters to compile the findings for Sylvia. With substantial confirmation of an affair, Cheaters provides Sylvia with an opportunity to view the footage. Despite drowning her sorrows with drink, she collects herself before discovering the truth. Sylvia, thanks for being with us this evening. You're welcome. Our detectives have some information, and we're prepared to show that to you if you still know for certain that you're ready to see it. I'm ready. Early in our investigation, we had a detective outside of the business where Jared works. On this evening, he exits, jumps on his motorcycle, and from this point was followed to a restaurant. He goes inside and he immediately makes contact with a young lady. They sit down at a booth and it's quite clear she's got her hand on the inside of his leg. They share a few drinks, grab something to eat, and as they exit the restaurant, we can see that they spend a few moments in the parking no. lot before he jumps on the motorcycle. No. Uh, in one spot. That way it's... Sylvia, on this evening, our detectives, again, were waiting outside of Jared's place of employment. The same woman that we've mm -hmm. seen him with previously arrives and goes inside the building. Sometime later, they exit. They stand outside. 
If they steal a few more moments, Nari starts to walk away. But as if called by a siren, he returns back to her embrace. For another few moments. I cannot do that. Before he mounts his cycle and departs. Do you recall when we had you place a hidden camera inside of yes. you? And I think you will see the results of that activity here. Jared left work on this evening in the company of this young lady. They followed one another back to your home. They go inside. Once there, they grab a seat on the sofa. And this is what those cameras capture. I know this is hard. And I know that we've provided some of the answers to the questions that you've had. Yeah. We may be able to provide you with more this evening. I'm going to call the detective right now. Yeah, hey, we just finished up with the briefing. What do you have on your end? Okay. She was at his office today. They left there after work, and they went to a bar. And they're still at that bar. Okay, I know where that is. All right, you know what? We're going to head there right now. If they leave, call and let me know. Okay. I'll call you when we get close. All right. They left work. They went to a bar. They're still there now. We're going to go there. If they leave, he's going to call and let us know, and then we'll just change our plans. Can I go on with you? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Are you, okay. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right. Let's Come this go. way. Now, Sylvia, I know that your relationship with Jared started in an interesting manner. Yes. He actually was married when you met and began dating. Yes. Is that one of your biggest fears? Yes, it is. That That's one of my biggest fears. He's going to do the same thing. You're sure you're okay with this? Mm-hmm. Yep, there they are. All right, everybody out. Everybody out, everybody out. Everybody out, everybody out. Everybody out. On the patio? Yeah. On the patio? Yeah. Charlie, All right. Jared? Jared? Hey. Hey, you guys. Hey. No. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hold on, 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 hold on. Coming up, the conclusion. She was at his office today, and they went to a bar. Jared? Hey, what are you doing? Hold on, 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 back up. Back up. Back up, please. Where do you go? Hey, Sylvia. What the hell's going on? What's going on? They're trying to get out the other side. No, dude. What are you doing? Look, 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 look. No. Sylvia. Sorry, baby. Look, hun, no. hun, I, I don't. You got a skirt. Hun, no. hun. Uh-uh. Just, just calm no. down. I don't have anything to say. Just calm down. Look, just calm down. I've been no. telling you for down. a year. No. I've been just telling you for No. Just calm down. A skirt comes up to you, shakes her ass. Sweetie. You. Just calm down. No. Just, just calm down. You. Honey, look. I've been telling you. Ow. No. I can't. You. I'm not doing this anymore. No, sweetheart. I'm not doing this anymore, no. Sylvia. Seriously. Look, no, look, look, Jared, stop. no. Look, I've been telling Jared, you. Jared, no. I've been telling you for a uh-uh. year. You. Look at the situation. Look. We are got tell- kids. It's over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go away, bitch. It's over. It's over. Go away, bitch. Stop. stop, stop. No, go away, bitch. stop. Let's settle down and find what they're saying. It's over. Go away. Look, it's you over. really want to do this right now? You really yeah. want to do this on camera? I do. Let's talk about this. Let's, Let's talk go. about this, okay? Let's go. I've been telling you for a year. Let's go. Look. Let's go. Look, if you want to talk, let's talk. Let's stop, stop, stop touching me. Go. Okay? Listen you. to what I'm saying. You. That's you. fine. You. Hey, I've been telling you for a year. Yeah. Me. I've been telling yeah. you for a year. Before. Now let's settle down. You're the whore. It's been f***ing me for yeah. a year. It's You're been over. Whore. It's been oh, over. Oh, you think so, bitch? You know what? Yeah. 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 He's been f***ing me. He's been f***ing 
so. And he loves this. Whoa, whoa. Oh, really? Okay, really? I've been trying to tell you for a year. Hey, look. Really? It's it's over, okay? No. Consider this my letter of resignation, okay? I can't, bye, bye. I'm not doing it. Bye, bitch. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Bye, bye. I'm not doing it. You're drunk now. You're drunk right now. You're drunk now. You're drunk now. Just go. No. We're going to go. We're going to go. No. We're going to go. You want to talk about my walking stick, bitch? I just got to talk about the. Down. Seriously, I got this. Down. Sylvia, stop! No, Jerry, you Seriously. stop. Look, no, look, you it's over. It's over. I've been no. trying to tell you this for a year. Yeah, we gotta You don't want to listen. You're stop. Yeah, you know what? Why did Jerry why what? Did he leave? Guess what? Stop. Guess what? Now him and I are going to have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Go. Why you still got your sticks? Why still got my sticks? Go. Yeah. Why aren't you taking my sticks and telling me what you're doing? Can you guys get her away? What you gonna do with my sticks, bitch? Now. What you gonna do, huh? No. Bring it. Sylvia, you're drunk right now. Look, this is part of my problem. Don't get away from me. This is part of my problem right now. No. This right here, right here. No. You're drunk right now. You fell in the street. I've had a couple drinks. Look, you're sloshed every day. Oh, hey, baby, let's just go. Look, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I'm leaving. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't think so. No, look. No. Uh uh. Sorry, bitch. You ain't going nowhere. Oh my god. Hey! hey. Get back. Stop. Oh, no, no, no. No way, baby. Hey! Go! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Dallas, Texas! Coming through! Hey. Triple D! After the confrontation, Sylvia's offered professional help to deal with her emotional issues. At the end of the show, we'll report on how she fares. But now, Jason Warner returns to speak about his recovery after catching his girlfriend cavorting with his cousin on Cheaters. Me and Ace never really got along growing up, but to, to know that he was with my fiance and he didn't really care about it, that really got under my skin and it was just mind boggling to, to think that he could do such a thing with no remorse. Hey, what, what's good, cuz? What's up? What's good? Well, hey, guys, 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 guys. Get these guys. <laughs> What's good? What's good? What's good? After that day, I wanted Tiara gone. When she did finally come back to get her stuff, we talked and she apologized for for everything. I could see it in her eyes that she was truly she was truly sorry for what she had done and I mean what can I say I love her so we decided to work through this together and try to stick it out hey, don't be with him don't worry about hey, all and that. don't worry about our daughter don't worry about all that. Hey. none of that yo keep she, I don't want her she might not even be yours yo Yo! Say what? Hey. Say what? Me and Tiara are actually getting ready to buy our own home. I just feel that spark like when we first met. And I wouldn't trade anything in the world for that feeling.
Not surprised by the results of the investigation, Sylvia Waters feels fortunate to have solid evidence of her husband's transgressions. She admits that her drinking problem may have caused trouble in her relationship with Jared, but that being married is for better or worse. Sylvia is currently seeking treatment for her addiction. Claiming that Sylvia drove him into the arms of another woman, the suspect attempted to convince Cheetah's producers that he bears little responsibility for being unfaithful. Once an attentive husband, the suspect insists that Sylvia's destructive drinking grew worse over the years. In a brief telephone interview, Michelle Youngers professes her love for Jared and is happy the menace is now out in the open. Jared and Ms. Youngers are expecting their first child in October. Divorce proceedings involving Sylvia and... Real Reality Television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Frantic by the thought of her baby's father with someone new, Rita Stout is desperate for the truth. As her due date nears, the love and support she once depended on is nowhere to be found. Wanting to keep her new family together, she seeks assistance for a special delivery. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. When we first got engaged, everything was good. I was happy, he was happy. I just felt like nothing could break us apart. I was his bunny and he was my Clyde, but after a while, I don't know what happened. Man, they, they, they act different. They tend to act different when they cheat. I don't know why, but they do. His actions are different. Lately, he's, he comes in the house, and the first thing he does is take a shower or doesn't want to be touched. Like, why? Why are you doing me like this? To get away from me, he says, oh, it's just your emotions, you're pregnant. Leave me alone. I'm not doing anything, but I'm not believing it. I love George a lot. I can't lie about that, but he really needs to get it together for the sake of not only me, but his child that we have on the way. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. George, age 30, a supervisor accused of packaging himself as an available man. Investigation day two. Ready to take to the streets, Cheaters Intelligence deploys operatives to the suspect's place of employment. Around lunchtime, agents spot the suspect, identified only as George, as he leaves his job. After a brief pursuit, Cheaters detectives watch as the suspect exits his car and runs into his residence. After a few minutes, George emerges, having changed his clothes. He gets back into his car and is followed to an unknown residence. He parks in the driveway and is soon escorting an unknown female into the passenger seat of his car. The couple is followed to a nearby restaurant. After finishing their value meals, they make a stop at a grocery store. They make their purchases and then return to the female's home. They enter and the suspect stays for the remainder of the evening. Investigation day five. With no clear-cut evidence of infidelity, agents continue the investigation of George while he spends some time with his pregnant girlfriend, Rita. Around midday, mobile units spy the suspect making his way to his car. He's followed to a grocery store and is observed walking the aisles with a list in his hand. One of the items not on the list is another shopper. Ground units are taken by surprise when George starts to chat it up with an apparently single woman. 
The unknown female seems to be taken by the suspect's charm. The two chat and continue shopping together. George finally checks out and returns to Rita's apartment, where he remains for the rest of the night. Investigation Day 6. Deeply troubled by suspect George's prior activities, cheaters sleuths continue following their mark once he exits his home carrying a small cooler. The suspect hops into his car and is tracked to the home of his previous lady friend. He parks and enters. A short time later, George and his companion, now identified as Corinne Matthews, exit the home and enter George's vehicle. The two are tailed to a nearby beer store where they pick up a 12-pack. George opens the door for his lady before traveling to a nearby park. There's apparently a big event going on, proven by the amount of traffic on the small road. George finally finds a place to park and escorts his date up the hill where they settle on the grass to watch the festivities. George plays a symphony of lies to his girlfriend in this recorded phone call. With enough evidence to close the case, weary investigators return all documentation to headquarters and put in a call to a heartbroken Rita. Coming up, the confrontation. Having amassed a mountain of evidence, Cheaters informs Rita of her baby daddy's dalliances. With the proof just moments away, Rita remains vigilant in her pursuit for the truth. On this day, we began our investigation outside of George's place of employment. Now he gets into his car, and then he goes home. A short time later, he exits dressed in casual attire. Our detectives followed him until he got to the residence of evidently a woman. She comes out, they greet one another, get into his car and were followed until they arrived at a restaurant. And after a quick bite to eat, they exit, return back to the residence of this young lady. George goes inside. George remains there for quite some time before he exits and comes home later that evening. Rita on this day, he comes out, gets in his car, goes to the residence of the young woman. He goes inside, picks her up. They get back into the car. They stop at a park. As they get there, spread out some blankets and towels on the lawn and enjoy the festivities. This was last weekend during the Memorial Day celebration. Now we can see they're sitting closely, holding hands. He brings her back home, and that's where he spent the night. I want to call the detective right now. We know that they were headed in this general direction, and that's why we're headed this way. But I'll see if he can give me an update. Okay. okay. Hey, did they land yet? Hey, listen, head to the northeast side of the lake on Lothar. And what's the name of it? What? White Rock Paddle Company. Okay. All right. We're headed there right now. In the parking lot. All right. Sounds good. He picked her up, and they headed out to White Rock Lake. We're headed there now. We'll get an update from the detective when we get there. What's going on? They actually rented a high. A what? That's them right there? It's them right there. Rita, Rita. What do you want to do? Rita. George! You can't. Yeah, you see me, though. You can't swim out there. I'm finna swim today. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll get Easy, I'll easy, easy. Yeah. Okay, you know what? If we're going to do this, we're going to do it right, all right? Okay. Just give us a second, and we'll see if we can work something out. Uh, we need to rent some boats. Oh, I've got two available right over there. All right, let's go. What? Okay, Rita. What's that? Jeff. Here we go. Ready? Doug! Which one I'm going to get in? I'm going to get in this one. Okay. Okay, should we... Uh... Are we going to off them right here, or are we going to... Ready? Ready. Right. One's off. Coming up next, the conclusion. We actually rented a kayak. See them right there. We need to rent some boats. Doug! Yeah, you see me, Doug? Here, let, hang on, let's move. Let Okay, does she need to sit in the middle? Yeah, she needs to sit in the middle. All right. I still am not thinking this is a very good idea. Rita, what you doing out here? Nah, what you doing out here? You out here rolling the damn boat? This what y'all got going? A no, yeah, a friend of mine. How she become a friend of yours, too? Oh, we just, you know, I called just the phone out. and he answered the phone. You've been acting all crazy lately. Like, like, what you mean crazy? Ever since you got pregnant with baby. You know? what, That's just what crazy? I do. That's what is I do. Is this crazy, George? Yeah, it's very crazy. So we imagine this. Why what? you call all these people out here for this? What you mean? What are y'all doing together? You're not supposed to be with her. You're supposed to be with me. Be with you? Yeah, oh, with me. Too much. It don't matter. You deal with it. Baby. You you shouldn't have got me pregnant if you couldn't take it. You so right. You I know I am right. right. I know I am right. And you out here paddling a damn right. boat with her. Did you know he was getting married to someone? Did you know that they're engaged? No, no. No, I now, George, what now? No. Don't go away. No, no, no. Oh, for real? Oh, so we not? We ain't getting married now? Mm -mm. We ain't getting married now, George? Uh -uh. Oh, for real? Uh -uh. George, don't play with me. Easy, easy, oh, we ain't getting married now? We ain't getting married now? Easy, easy, We ain't getting hey. married. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa. Nah, it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. Oh, George, we ain't getting married. Oh, for real? When it's happening? When it's happening? You can go over there now. No, you can be quiet. You ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm talking to George. Okay, well, ago you were just saying that I could have came. So what you trying now for? Who are you? Oh, yeah. Who are you? Oh, yeah, now you ain't saying that. Nah, we come back over there. Go over there. Take me over there. Right. Take me over there. You Don't run. Is that what he told you? Come to the house. What house you going to? So, so, who, I mean, who you coming to? You just said come to the house, and now you just changed it. So, are you going with me or are you going with her? I ain't going with either one of y'all. Oh, for real? Oh, you ain't got to wear the about it. You ain't got to wear the about You, I ain't worried about you. What you gonna do? Put me on child support? George. Child support and yeah, everything George. else. You That's ain't got to worry about this one. No, you think no. this is a joke? Oh, for real? You think I'm here no, playing it's not around? No joke. You got a child. We can take it wherever you want to take it to, boo boo. You still ain't gonna see your back. No, it's not. Really? It's not. Really? I'm glad you feel that way. Roll your ass back over here. I ain't finished talking to you. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah. Hey, Stefanos, watch out. We got some uh, waves. Oh, you getting married to her? Or you getting married to her, George? I got some ring. He just said he ain't getting married, so why are you talking? I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you, though. I'm talking to him. So what What are you going to do, George? What do you plan on doing between us? I ain't worried about you. You ain't. Well, it'll be only a few days before we find out. do you? And then what? Who's, the, who's daddy the baby is? We can take a DNA test. That'll be dumb on your behalf. If you want to take a DNA test, we can take a DNA test, and they going to automatically put your dumb ass on child support then. We'll find out in a few yes, days who's the baby daddy. Yes, they are. Go and do your research, because I know. <laughs> Go that way then, dumb ass. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Y'all can be dumb together. Whatever. Well, we are. That old blinging, the sun shining hard, and I still can't 
your feet. I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> you find it, tell me. Dumb asses. You right? I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't think we need any any more information from this. Oh, I ain't wearing the bed, and I'm good. Now what? I ain't wearing the bed. Now I know you are. Y'all belong together. Y'all belong together. Okay, well, I promise you. I okay, promise you, y'all belong together. Okay. I promise you, y'all belong together. Bye. Get her. Get her. This girl don't know me, though. She's yours. Get her. Get her. Both of y'all belong together. Both of y'all belong together. Get her. 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 Get You Bye, like Rita. it? Whatever. See you later. Bye. I hope I mean, you what is he? Make sure you send me them watching. test results. Man. Still watching. Bye. Are we done? Following the confrontation, Rita has little time to process before her contractions begin. Coming up, Cheaters announces her family's future. But now, Toby McKinney sits down to express his thoughts on his wayward wife when confronted by her client on Cheaters. I was freaked out. I mean, what would you think? I had a camera, bright lights, all these guys. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if I, it was cops. I didn't know if I did something wrong. I was freaking out. And then to have this Jesus-looking guy come up telling me, I know your wife, blah, blah, blah. I thought that this guy was mistaken. I'm sorry to interrupt your evening, but we have a situation that requires your attention. Toby McKinney? This is Toby Dalrymple. Nice to meet you. Okay, whatever. What's up? You have a beautiful family. Thank you, yeah. And it was a real shock for me to learn. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, I've been involved with your wife for going on nine months now when it was obvious what was going on here. I mean, it was like having my heart pulled out of my chest. I mean, I have, we have gorgeous kids, you know, and, and I mean, they're young, but we've been working on these kids for a long time, and it was devastating. You get focused in on work and career and family, it just gets hectic, you know, and Maybe I was taking her for granted, you know, maybe uh, I wasn't uh, treating her the way that I should have been treating her. Have you been this guy or not? Boston, San Diego. Shut up. I'm I don't know you, truth. you Jesus looking mother. I don't know you. I don't care about you. You mean nothing. Well, what do you mean? Her? Shut up. I didn't come here for her. I'm here for you. She broke my heart. I'm here for you, man. Well, after she broke down like I haven't seen and um, and it, it really got to me it got she, she grabbed hold of my heart I don't know any other way to say it she 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 admitted at that point what had been going on and to me that was the I don't know how you would say it. That was the, uh, that was what had been missing. Not one to wallow in despair, Rita Stout has put all thoughts of George behind her. As for now, she states that he will have nothing to do with their baby, and she hopes that he can ultimately appreciate what the word suffer really means. After the birth of his child, George says the guilt he feels is unparalleled to any other experience in his life. The combination of getting busted and the birth of his child has made him think long and hard about the kind of man and father he wants to be. As for Corinne Matthews, she says her relationship with George is one of mutual love and understanding. She hopes to continue their relationship and stands by her man despite his past. Hey, Get out of my face! Oh my god! No! 
Real reality television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on cheaters. With a relationship already strained from a proposal denied, Andrew Giordano senses there's more going on behind the scenes. While his girlfriend remains aloof and forgetful, Andrew focuses his attention on finding the truth. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. It was, everything was fine, you know, for, for two and a half years, uh, up until the day I proposed to her. I mean, she turned me down, and ever since then, she hasn't wanted to hang out with me. She hasn't wanted to spend time with me or my parents or, or any of my friends. Anytime, I mean, anytime I ask her to go anywhere, I, I, I told her that I, you know, I had a, a client that needed to meet with me for dinner after work one day and I was going to go straight from work to dinner and she said okay we hung up the phone the client canceled you know I was driving home and I called her and I said hey babe I'm coming home um I'll be home in you know 10 minutes and she sounded completely shocked like she was doing something bad <laughs> I got home she was in the shower it smelled like cologne in my house and my bed was was ruffled up and hastily made like someone was in it, you know? And after that, uh, just, I knew something was up. I knew it. I don't know what to do anymore. I gave her so much, I've sacrificed so much. And I, I don't know if I could forgive her or not. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Veronica, age 26. A waitress suspected of putting herself on the takeout menu. Investigation day one. Hoping to get a feel for the suspect's daily habits, detectives set up a perimeter around her workplace. As the suspect, identified only as Veronica, is spotted leaving work for the evening, agents are given an added surprise as an unknown male companion begins to accompany her, throwing his arm around her shoulders. The couple stop at Veronica's car, and her companion takes it easy in the passenger seat. The two converse while finishing their cigarettes before closing the doors and continuing their adventure. Mobile units follow the cruising couple for quite some time while wondering the extent of their friendship. At a stoplight, agents spy the two rocking out on the radio, singing in unison to each other. They eventually return to Veronica's restaurant and share a kiss inside the car. Veronica's companion eventually disembarks from the vehicle, ending this night of investigation. Investigation day three. As the suspect finishes her shift, she exits the eatery, having changed into some comfy clothes. Once on the road, mobile units track Veronica until she arrives at a bowling alley. When cameras reacquire their subject, she's grasping the hand of her previous companion. The man, whose identity remains withheld, is discovered to be married with children of his own. Ground forces spot the two as he coaches her on how to handle a bowling ball. They continue their lusty interactions through the final frame and celebrate the end of the game with a sensuous kiss. After exiting the lanes, Veronica follows her suitor to his home. The companion takes the lead and ushers his date inside. After two hours, Veronica finally emerges. She slaps on her ball cap and begins the trek to the home she shares with a worried Andrew. Investigation day four. Detectives on stakeout are surprised when Veronica leaves her waitress duties in the middle of the dinner rush. A call to the restaurant reveals that she left for home early due to illness. Units then catch her hooking up with her lover at a nearby bar. The two hug as if separated for years. They enjoy a few cocktails before Veronica makes a call to an ill-informed Andrew. Hey, what's up? 
With the decks cleared for further frivolity, agents watch Veronica go into her home alone to see if Andrew is still there. With the coast clear, Veronica's married monsieur pulls in from around the corner and enters the home. Internal surveillance cameras placed earlier by Andrew come to life and capture the daring duo playing doctor on the couch. With little regard for their egregious actions, the couple kiss their way into the bedroom, at which time detectives close the case and return to headquarters for debriefing. Coming up, the confrontation. With solid evidence in hand, Andrew is pulled in for a briefing, unaware that his suspicions will soon be corroborated. His disbelief turns to anger while viewing the footage. Andrew, thanks for making yourself available to us. The reason that you're here has been very difficult for you. Our detectives have some information that we think is pressing enough to bring to you. Are you ready to take a look at that? Andrew, as we started our investigation, we had a detective that was outside of the business where Veronica works. On this night, after her shift, she exits the building, walks over to a gentleman who is waiting outside. They walk over to her truck, on their way, he puts his arm around her. And they stand there for a few moments in conversation. After which time, they both get in her truck and just drive around for a little bit. Now, at a light, our detective was right behind them. Evidently, they're enjoying a particular tune. Oh, man. They go back to the restaurant. You can see a brief kiss before she drops him off and then goes on her way. Yeah. On this evening, we again picked up our investigation outside of the place where Veronica works. Directly from work, she goes to a bar where her gentleman friend is waiting. They spend a few romantic moments chit-chatting in the booth. Veronica gets a phone call, excuses herself, but returns to her Lothario. Who's that guy? I think you'll find this part very interesting. From there, Andrew, they go back to your house. She goes inside first. He waits outside. A few minutes later, he goes in. And the hidden cameras that we had you place inside captured this activity. Oh my God. You know exactly when that night was. Yeah. Now, what was the reason that she had? Why her, did she have you? Her sister had marital problems, uh -huh. and she needed some time with her sister to talk about it. And it was very personal, and I didn't want to smother her. I didn't want to get in her way. And I wanted to give her her space. Give her so some time with her sister. So you're trying to do something I'm nice. doing a nice thing for her. And she says how she repays me. So she had you stay at someone else's house? Yeah, I stayed at my mother's house. The pattern that seems to take place is that Veronica will meet with this gentleman after work. Earlier this evening, you let us know that she told you something about tonight. What was that? She was going to hang out with her sister. She's going to go out to dinner with, with Rob and her sister. Based on what you've seen, do you think that's likely to take place? No. She's probably with him right now. Now, 
her shift is getting off in a little bit. We have a detective at her place of employment. We're gonna load up and go head over there if you're ready. I am, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Okay, Andrew, I'm just gonna let the detective know that we finished up with the briefing and we're in standby. Joey? Yeah. What's happening on your end? Uh huh. Picked her up. Uh, she got up early. He uh, picked her up. They went to a local shopping center. All right. The thing is, is, we know where they parked. All right, good. So what we'll do is we'll just station by his car. Mm -hmm. When he comes out back to the car, that's when we'll get them. Sounds good. All right. We'll see you in a second. Hmm? All right. Here's so, the detective. So. They're coming out. Got to run. We oh. got to go. All right. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Let's go. All right, come on. Where? All right. All right. Watch your step. Is that them? Veronica! Hey! Hello? What the f is going on? Who the f is this Baba Booey looking piece of Coming up, the conclusion. Hey! What is going on? Guys, guys, what the are you? Oh, are you guys? What are you, man? Who is that? What is going on? I don't understand. Why don't you tell us? Veronica, what we were the groceries, dude. We're about to go make dinner. We're cooking dinner for my sister. He's just taking me grocery yeah. shopping. It's not a big Robin? deal. Robin was supposed to be at the house. I don't know what the f after Robin dinner. I don't know what the f she's talking yeah, about. Yeah, doesn't no. Bull. No, look, Dude. we're just getting we're just getting food Where's for my sister. Where's this mother? Stop. Andrew, Andrew, get away. I don't understand. I don't. What the? F get the f out of my face, Aaron. Like seriously. Andrew, stop. What the hell? Andrew, stop. Dude. Dude, stop. Stop. What? Dude, who the f are you? Dude, look, I want nothing to do with it. I want nothing to do with it. Is it? Dude. Are you guys going grocery shopping? Oh, you grocery shopping, mother? Dude, Get them apart. Apart. Break it up, guys. Oh my god. Andrew, nothing's going on. This is bull. This isn't. Like, this is no big deal. Like, there's. Well, Veronica, it kind of Look, is a big deal. Because we've had detectives else. following you, you know, after work face. when you get off. Well, you know, you do. I don't. Watch I really... out, watch out, be careful. Where'd he go? He's gonna leave that thing to me, so who the f cares? So seriously, get the f out of my face. All those text messages, 143? You think I wouldn't find out what it meant? Why didn't you say yeah, that? told me what it meant. I didn't say anything about it then. I love you. You've been sending that Text messages for eight months now. Okay, let's talk this out. Eight, it's been like three, okay? It's not, it hasn't been eight months. Get that camera out of my face, man. Show the f love you, dude. Either of you. What? You guys. You don't want to do it. What? You don't want nothing to do with who? You Why would I, I leave my family? Leave all Why would all leave was it to go and be with, with him? What? Did you leave me at that party to go be with this? No? I mean, what are you talking about? I don't even know what the you're talking about. What the hell? Get the f What's going on? How the f do I get away from you? Like, seriously. This is who you go for? I wanted to marry you and have kids, and you go after that? That? Oh my god! What the Let's see if we can get her settled down. Veronica, help me understand. There's nothing really to understand, Joey. I mean, I made a mistake. Wait. No, here's what I don't understand, is that... What are in those bags? You don't love him. You don't care huh? about him. What, what, what are in these bags? He should have known. Huh? He should have broken up with you, but now you don't have a place to stay. All right, home. Is that it? No, I... I You're buying his baby clothes for him now? You using my credit card? 
Those are my credit cards. We got some stuff for you to rub my Bull feet. Oh, okay. Because that's going to happen is, now. Is, We got some more of that. We were out of that, right? Right? What? Oh, that's not my feet. Good thing you missed. Good thing you missed, Andrew. Yes, I'm calling a cab. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Thank you. After the confrontation, Andrew is resolute as to the future of his relationship. Later, we'll reveal his decision. But next, Cheaters welcomes Amy, the complacent party from the Ebony Murphy case. Amy hopes that her appearance will once and for all set the record straight regarding her indiscretions with Ebony's man. Up until the bus, I mean, I thought everything was going fine. You know what I'm saying? I thought everything was great. When when that happened, it was like <laughs> reality struck in. You know what I'm saying? I was with somebody else, man, and he wanted to be with her. Nah, bitch, come here. Your cheating ass! Hold up. Hold up, just chill out for a second. We're talking one sec. Just let me talk. Listen, one sec. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Listen, you ain't doing nothing. You ain't listening. You ain't listening. You ain't listening. Come on, 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 I ain't talked to him. He tried to call. I don't have nothing to say to him because that was on national TV, dude. I mean, and you just told me, you set up and told me, you know what I'm saying, that everything you told me was a lie, basically. So, sure. I just don't answer his calls. He calls. I don't answer him. I haven't talked to him. Come on. She don't want it. Come on. I'm talking right now. I said, come on. But I'm talking. Come on. Go ahead. Come on. You see, she don't want You didn't want her in the first place. Go ahead. She don't want you. She don't want you and you don't want her. Come on. Come on. We don't be together. No, come on. We gonna Both y'all. Both y'all gone. Both of y'all gone ahead. Come on. Y'all both trash. Come on. No. Come on. Y'all both trash. Come on. Come on. Y'all both trash. 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 Come on. Man, what, look at him, Nothing to go. Nah, nah, You can go with her? Go. Why? You trying to go with both of us? Nah, this is me right here. What you mean not without you then? This is me right here. OK, then go on and give me the keys. Nah, you all right. go ahead and do yeah. that over there by your car, because we done. Give it to me. I wish him all the luck in the world. He just had me going for a loop. He had me going. But I just really honestly thought that he was going to be mine. So I hope he grow up and man up. Following the confrontation, Andrew Giordano admits to being heartbroken by the outcome. Andrew has moved out of the apartment he shared with Veronica and is rebuilding his life without her toxic intrusion. According to Veronica, the blame is squarely on Andrew's shoulders. She says Andrew thinks a relationship is hiding in a box and never going out of it and never letting anyone in. I can't be in that kind of relationship. She claims that she and her companion love each other, and one day, when the time is right, they will be together. For now, she's currently seeking a roommate. Veronica's companion had no... That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on Cheaters. Surprised by her boyfriend's sudden jealous and temperamental attitude, Tiffany Bray is a woman needing to discover the reality of her situation. Using her intuition as a guide, Tiffany requests assistance from a reliable institution. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. Everybody, my friends always talk about how lovey-dovey we were. Like, we always sit under each other, hold hands, boo this, boo that. And that was kind of like, I come in the house, he walk out the house. 
No, when I got a new job, when I started working for the airport, he was like, I don't think you should take it because you're not going to be home as much. And I was kind of like, they paid more, you know? So why not make the career change? But I did understand where he was coming from. Like when I am home, instead of him saying, okay, let's catch a movie, let's go hang out, it's, I gotta work late. Go kick it with such and such. I gotta work late, call Savannah. I gotta work late, call Vivi. And it's like, I came home to see you. I don't care about that right now. The whole cell phone lock thing, the sitting in his car talking on the phone, like instead of just getting out when you pull up, he'll sit in the car for a minute, be on the phone. And what is it locked for? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is your cell phone, that's whatever, but it didn't, it didn't used to be locked. So what is it locked for now? Yeah, I'm kind of frustrated. Like, I'm boiling a little bit because what happens if, if he is fooling with somebody, she getting the same treatment I used to get at the beginning. You know, they don't work like that. And stuff just keeps adding up. Like, to me, two plus two equals four. And for your routine to be going straight ahead, and all of a sudden, you just going left, right, left, right. Mm. You know, man, I, I don't know. Something's wrong, and I know it. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Suspect's identity withheld, age 34. An insurance manager accused of stimulating full coverage on another woman. Investigation day two. With a perimeter set around the suspect's place of employment, agents on duty dig in and prepare for the chase to begin. It turns out they don't have to wait long as the suspect's vehicle is seen exiting from the private parking garage from under the skyscraper. Mobile units follow their mark until he arrives at an unknown apartment complex. Visual confirmation of the suspect, whose identity remains withheld, is noted as he walks from his car to an unknown unit. Tiffany's boyfriend knocks on the door and is let inside. The suspect remains unseen for a number of minutes before he reappears with an unknown female. The suspect follows his friend to her car and shows his machismo by demanding to drive. Mobile units track the pair to a nearby car spa. The couple drop off the companion's ride for detail service and wait by the lobby. The spa workers are not the only ones to get busy. The suspect seems perfectly comfortable keeping his bird from falling off her perch. Once the job is done, the suspect pays for the hand-dry service and the couple return to her apartment complex. He escorts his consort inside before returning to his car and going home for the evening. Investigation Day 4. As the suspect leaves work for the evening, mobile units follow as he pulls into the same apartment complex from earlier surveillance. Tiffany's boyfriend exits his car and enters his friend's apartment. He is inside for some time before they exit together. The suspect's companion, now identified only as Shelley, again leads the way to her car. Mobile units pursue the duo to an auto parts store. They enter together and soon emerge with a large bottle of windshield wiper fluid. The suspect must be a jack of all trades. First, he fills up her empty tank, but is negligent in securing the trunk. After fixing that problem, he drives across the road to a coffee shop. The two order lattes and then return to Shelley's apartment and disappear inside. They are inside for less than an hour before it's time for the suspect to leave. Shelley walks out with her handyman and sees him off with a soft kiss and a long hug goodbye. Investigation Day 5. Following a familiar pattern, the suspect exits work and drives to Shelley's place. Across from her apartment complex, the suspect makes a pit stop at a convenience store. He enters, makes his purchase, and continues on to Shelley's. The confidence in his duplicity is on display in this recorded phone call with Tiffany. Hey, babe, what are you doing? Um, I'm just in a rush right now. Shall I eat some grub? Quiet. You know? Quiet. It's here at lunch. Well, maybe happen to catch me, like, in the bathroom. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, kind of doing business right now, babe. I mean... You just said you are eating some grub, but now all of a sudden you're in the bathroom? I told you the first part of it, because that's what I'm doing. I'm having lunch, but... You know, people do go to the bathroom and handle their business. Why are you tripping? Yeah, you're definitely 
so go ahead and release it. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. With all the evidence they need, detectives call it a day and begin compiling the data for Tiffany's approval. Coming up, the confrontation. With the suspect's dubious behavior captured on tape, Tiffany is summoned to review the findings. Though nervous about what she'll discover, she remains cool in the face of her future. Tiffany, thank you for being with us this afternoon. I know you came back early from your trip. I know that's part of what you do as a profession. Well, Tiffany, I know you've been very patient. I know this has gone on for a considerable amount of time. Yeah. Our detectives do have some information. Would you care to see that? Yeah. Tiffany, as we began our investigation, we had a detective that was outside of place of employment. He leaves work, and our detective followed him until he arrived at an apartment complex. Mm -hmm. Now, goes into one of the hallways, Who is that? knocks on a door, exits mm -hmm. with a young lady. They get into a car that we believe to be hers, go to a car wash, and as they go inside, pay their bill, they wait for the cleaning to be complete, and we observe the two of them sidling up to one another, evidently pleased with the job the attendant has done. There's a high five. They go back to her apartment. He exits and returns home for the evening. On this day, pretty much the same drill. He leaves work, gets in his car, goes back to the same apartment complex, exits with the same young lady. They get in her car, but on this day, they go to an auto parts store, exit with something that appears to be washer fluid, I'm only guessing. He goes ahead and puts some in, and he places the rest in her trunk. They stop at a coffee shop on their way home, drops her off, but goes inside for a short period of time. When they return to the car, she walks him out, and now we see a romantic exchange between the two of them. It's getting close to the end of the work day mm -hmm. for why don't we go ahead and load up in the van, okay. and then we'll call the detective, see if there's been any movement, see if he's left work, okay. and he can give us an update. Okay. Okay. Right, why don't you come with me? Excuse me one second. Here's the detective. Yeah. They're at a restaurant just off McKinney. The detective's there with him now. Okay. McKinney, park in the back. There's an alley. Okay. We're on our way. Okay. You want to do this? I'm ready. Joe, okay. you're going to go wait right there in that little alley. They're right around the corner. We're going to wait on Dana to come get us. Okay. All right, there he is. Hey, hey, hey. Did you bring me a plate, too? How you doing, ma'am? Hi. What's your name? Shelly. How you doing, Shelly? Hi. My name is Tiffany. It's nice to meet you. Hi. Uh-huh. What's that? <laughs> what the f <laughs> what Did you order me some food? Baby, listen. Uh, what you, what Tiffany. You? No, baby. Tiffany. No. What, what you, you ain't what? gotta go, baby. You, no. you can sit down. No, I have to talk to you later. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. wait, wait. No, no listen, Shelly, listen, you listen, don't listen. gotta leave. No, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Coming up next, the conclusion. Did you bring me a plate too? My name is Tiffany. It's nice to meet you. I have to talk to you later. Hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. No. Mama, just, just. Just chill out, Mama. Look, look here. This hey, is not. Hey, you guys can look wherever you want. You guys need a permit to film in our restaurant, right? Miss, can you help me with some information? Uh, Mm -hmm. Baby, you guys can go over there. I'm sorry, sir. 
No, you can stay. What, what you, no, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, Ma. For what? Look, 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 look Ma, I, what, what you, that, uh, uh, that's, uh, a home, uh, that's a homegirl of mine, that's a homegirl of mine. If that was the case, she wouldn't have left. <gasps> can you guys, like, go back that way? You know what? This, this you had this coming. I did? You had this coming. How? You know what, I'm not even gonna do this. Camera's out of my face, man. Oh, you upset? <laughs> Why are you mad? <laughs> I don't have no time, man. Move. I don't have no time for this. Ah, where you going? <laughs> where you going? You don't want to talk about you it? You know what? You want to talk? Yeah. You, you want to be for real about it? Let's talk about it. Let's get first of all, all these damn cameras out the way. No. First of all, let's do that. Why don't y'all move out the way? Why? I don't need all this. It's evidence to the hand on in public all along. We've been together for five years, but you want to get the whole crew out here? Uh-huh. Huh? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Okay. You're doing all this modeling stuff. Uh-huh. You're traveling. Uh -huh. You're going everywhere. Uh-huh. You ain't taking care of none of my needs, nothing. I gave you the opportunity to leave. You should have. I didn't ask for this. This is not happening right now. Not yes, happy. it is. You got everybody here? Is yeah. Lucas Obama here? Pick a boo. Where's Obama at? <laughs> I don't see Pick a boo. him. Pick-a-boo. Spotlight on you, sweetie. Can you have a conversation and not worry about the cameras with Tiffany? Why does she bring the cameras in the first place is what I'm worried about. I mean, Same reason why you brought Shelly to a restaurant. But can you see why she had to? Because Because you, were, you, you weren't being honest with her. That's why. <laughs> I mean, the answer. You want to talk about honesty? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about honesty. Let's talk okay. about how she has. She she goes out till four in the morning. Says she's doing a job. Comes in. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't get tended to none of my needs. She comes and goes out. Went to the R. Kelly concert. I didn't see her again. I don't know what happened. Okay, but if but if you were unhappy with the relationship and the way it was going, why didn't you end it? Look. Baby, you know, you know I love you. Tiffany, Tiffany, you know no I, baby. You know, you know I love you. That's for the birds. Really? Shelly! I told you what that is. Shelly! Move, 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 move. Shelly! <laughs> wow, really? Really? Look, Please, look I didn't know he had a Please girlfriend. Let her know. And I respect Please that, let her though, know. because you didn't know. I respect that, so it's not that. No, I was like, what, boo? Whoa. You've been talking to me for like two weeks. Whoa. You didn't tell me you had no girlfriend. <laughs> Five years in the game, you, Shelly. Okay. okay. <laughs> you didn't know? It's okay, Shelly. It's not okay. First of all, this don't look no, like I told place. you sometimes my cousin sleeps on the couch. Wow, I didn't say together. that. Get yourself together, okay? I said sometimes he <laughs> okay. sleeps on the couch. You can go home with her. Oh, oh no. He good. Okay. Mama, you can actually ride with us. No, that's not catch a cab. No, that's okay. You good. Look, look, if we ain't gonna talk about it, let's me and you talk about it. Is that my yellow cab? <laughs> well, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Will you take the phone, please? Thank you. Bye, Shelly. <laughs> Baby, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get... Thank you. Thanks. Keep moving that camera out of my face, man. I'm trying to talk to my woman. And... Move, man. Baby girl, listen to me. Listen to me. Ah, 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 you're too close. Fall back. Fall back. L listen, babe. Listen. I saw what I saw. It is what First it is, all, and that's that. Okay, no. You didn't keep it between me and you. You decided to get America involved in what we got. Tell them how. You didn't <laughs> Oh, for real? That's how it is? Yeah. Well, see, I should have known with your ass on Facebook. You like to be in the spotlight. So right now, I ain't Help it, boo. Left, huh? I'm sorry. Huh? Goodbye. You, you got to be seen. You can come and get your things. I'll be gone for the next two days. Just make sure when I get back, it's gone. What is left is going to the trash. So I'm giving you, you two days. Do not throw my out. You got two days. Do not throw my out. I have two days. You're going to regret this. No way. I, mean, I need my mama seeing this. My grandmother, my family. That <laughs> is so crazy. I just need to get back to my car. Following the confrontation, Tiffany's relieved to finally know the truth. Stay tuned when we update you on the results of her epiphany. But first,
Clarice, the suspect from the Robert Gaiman case, comes in to spew her form of the truth when caught red-handed by cheaters. Yes, I did cheat on Robert. It was pretty easy, really, at the time. I think I was just being kind of really greedy. I think I'm just like that. What the? Hey, hey. Easy, guys. Hey. Hey, get in there. Stop. 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 I guess it's almost like he thinks he's better than me or something. And I, I think it was different with Sean because I just felt appreciated. And I know that Robert would, you know, showed that he appreciated me and he would, was, was working very hard. But I just didn't feel it, I guess, and I got bored. What is this? What is this? That's... When did I see this? Huh? When did I see this? What is... Who you send this to? Says so to him? Do you ever even pay attention to me? You're always hey, you. You don't even listen to me when I'm. She's a. Stop. Stop. Robert is just so. Uh, serious and uh, when Robert wasn't around, I would just kind of forget about him. Look, it was just for fun, okay? What do you mean it's for it's fun? Just, Robert, for fun? It's just for fun, please. You're just never. Talk you're never around. I'd rather be poor and happy, and rich and miserable, and you're just never here. Listen to me. You know. Please, listen to me. Please, please, please forgive me. I just feel like a, a bird, you know, like in a cage or something. Like I don't want to stay at home and wait for you, and all the time I wanted to do just. I didn't want to wait on somebody like that. I guess I was just tired of, of feeling like like I was second or something. Finally able to bring closure to her suspicions, Tiffany Bray claims that a huge weight has been lifted from her heart. She says that she's happier now than she has been in months and is finally living her life for herself. As for the suspect, he claims that Tiffany has it all wrong and that he was doing nothing wrong. He asserts that his relationship with Shelley was nothing more than two close friends who supported each other. When questioned by Cheaters producers, Shelley confirmed that she and the suspect were happy. Now you're a comedian. That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real reality television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Despite a past of hardship, Eve Cullen is a loving and civic-minded woman. Recently, however, she's noticed her relationship suffering as a result of her passions. Afraid that her boyfriend may be seeking comfort with another woman, she asks for help from a trusted source. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. When you've been with someone for six years, you kind of pick up on things that other people don't see, you know, and I can tell right away when something's bothering him. He just sits in front of the television with a beer and goes to sleep in the recliner. He doesn't even, you know, give me any attention. I don't understand why, when he gets breaks and a lunch, why he can't find time to call me or to answer my text to let me know, you know, how he's doing. Or, you know, now he's just giving me a hard time. He, you know, when I'm getting ready to go to work, he'll come in the bathroom and he'll say, why are you uh, wearing your hair like that? Or why is that a different perfume you're wearing? Are you trying to impress someone? You know, is there there's somebody else? And that's ridiculous. I would never cheat on him. If this is really what I think it is, I just want him to be honest with me and man up to it. And either we work it out or he lets me go. <laughs> I don't want to waste any more of my time taking care of this man if he isn't even serious about our relationship. 
If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheater's Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Brian Hill, age 41. A speculator accused of becoming a resource for another woman. Investigation Day 1. With guidance provided by Eve, detectives intercept the suspect leaving work and arriving at an unknown building. The suspect, Brian Hill, enters the high-rise office building. Half an hour later, perimeter units spot the suspect with an unknown female in his company. The two depart in Hill's car and soon arrive at a nearby real estate property. After inspecting the home, the couple depart. Mobile units are soon a part of the tour that Hill takes with his real estate companion. Mobile units track the couple through a number of homes for sale before ultimately returning to the parking lot of Hill's companion's place of employment. Investigators make note of the affectionate body language the two display. Hill escorts his friend to her car and kisses her goodbye. He then returns home for the evening. Investigation Day 3. With Eve working late, investigators remain vigilant outside her home. With little movement since the suspect returned home from work, detectives perk up as Hill exits the front door, accompanied by his three large wolves. Mobile units follow to a nearby park. Once there, his realtor, now identified only as Sylvia, meets Hill. The woman seems very comfortable with the canines. She pets each of them on the head. The couple strolls through the park with Sylvia taking the reins of one of the animals. The two hold hands and pause by the lake for a loving smooch. Having walked over a mile, the two rest their bodies on a park bench. Sylvia takes the lead and leans in for a long lip lock with Hill. The pooches seem uncomfortable tied to a fence while their master is trading kisses with a new woman. After some time, the couple end their late night rendezvous and return to their cars. They kiss goodbye and depart each other's company for the remainder of the evening. Investigation Day 5. Mobile units keep close tabs on their mark as he leaves his home for the evening. He soon arrives at a nearby restaurant. Outside, a well-dressed Sylvia meets him. Hill admires his date, twirling her around to take her all in. The couple then enter the establishment and take a seat. They enjoy some wine with their dinner. Upon finishing, they exit and are followed back to the suspect and client's residence. Internal surveillance cameras placed inside by Eve come alive and capture the couple on the couch drinking a little more wine. The two seem extremely comfortable with each other, with Hill caressing his cohort's long legs. The two talk for a while as Hill massages the feet of his realtor. His deplorable actions are only reinforced by this recorded phone call with Eve. Hey, baby, what's up? Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're listening. You kind of hard when you're so much. Maybe you can uh, have something ready for me when I get home. With enough evidence to close the case, agents pack up their equipment and return to headquarters to begin compiling the data for Eve's review. Coming up, the confrontation. With her boyfriend's deceitful activities uncovered, Cheaters assembles the information for Eve's review. Emotionally drained from worry, she summons the strength to view the truth. Eve, thank you for making yourself available for us this evening. I know the circumstances that you find yourself in regarding your relationship with Brian are disquieting for you. We stand here this evening because our detectives have acquired some information that they thought it was imperative for you to see. Are you ready to look at that now? Yes. 
Eve, as our investigation began, our detectives followed Brian late this afternoon as he left work. He was followed to a business park, went inside, exited a short time later with a young lady. Now, evidently, this person seems to work in the real estate industry as she and Brian went about viewing various condos and townhomes that were on the market. Now, after they've seen a number of homes, they go back to the office, and just as the real estate agent goes to get into her car, we see the first sign of affection as they share a kiss. On our second day, we have detectives again outside of your home. Brian leaves, goes to a restaurant, meets the same young lady. We can see that he's got a high time planned as their greeting seems quite spirited. They go inside, share a bite to eat, some drinks, but now they return to your home. That's great. Early in our investigation, we had you place a hidden camera inside the living room with the surveillance that these cameras were able to capture. We see that Brian is entertaining her with what the a hell? foot massage. Oh my God. Things become heated. They both exit to another area of the house. And sometime later when they return, she appears quite disheveled. Brian is in a state of undress. <laughs> no, excuse me one second. I'm just getting a text. Okay, we're getting some new information, which will make sense in just a moment. I just want to finish up here. Yeah. Eve, when we contacted you earlier, it was because Brian left work today and he picked up the same young lady at her office and they were looking at homes. Our detective just contacted me. They have wrapped up that piece of business and now are back at your home. Are you certain that you wanna continue and confront Brian? Yes. Okay, why don't you come with me and we'll call the detective from the car. Excuse me one second, here's a detective. Yes. Okay, they left the house. Hey, they left the house and they took the wolves and went to the same park that we saw in their surveillance. Okay, we'll head there right now. All right, just check us at the entrance. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. Go over on this side. Hey, camera. Let's go, back up. Come on. How deep? Probably about 100 yards. All right. The Are they on the path? Right there. Right there. Here, come this way. Watch your step. What the hell is this? What the f is going on? Are you out of your mind? Surprise, bitches! You just got busted. Coming up, the conclusion. same park that we saw in the surveillance. Are you out of your mind? Surprise, bitches! You just got busted! You crazy? Hey, 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 ladies, ladies, ladies. Up, ladies. Let's settle down. I want to talk to you. What are you doing here? Stop. Getting Shut up! Air time? Shut up! Good job. Well, you know, miss, I, I don't, she did got, you, did you know he lives with someone? Just, you're out of, yeah, you got your camera crew and your Jerry Springer let's go, let's side show. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the hell are you doing? What do you think? What, what do you care? What do you? Here. You haven't cared for three years. Yeah, well, we wouldn't need to be here. I don't if even you remember your business. Would you stop? No. Stop hiding behind your damn oh, mongrels and talk to me. Mongrels, whatever. You gotta go this way. After whatever. six years, wow. you owe six me an explanation for what you're you doing. Thing. Are you crazy? <laughs> She's a joke. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you to tell me to leave my boyfriend hey. alone? So you got, hey, you got, you, you got your camera time you should be happy you can go play sarah paling up your political oh go to hell 
Well, I've already Brian, been there. That was when I was with you. If you yes, moved on with the relationship, why didn't you why didn't you let let Eve know? If you were so over it. No, we Do you, you know, be bathed by the time for talking is Go over. to hell, bitch! Oh my the time I'm for talking, talking to him! Over. Get now, your damn hands off of him! Now you don't have any say so anymore. Just go go play, you know, go play. I've got politics. plenty to say! That's not nah, that's that's really funny coming from you. Yeah, well all you care about is those. Yeah. I told you ask to stay back. We just want to get out of here. You guys are idiots. How long have you been him in my bed? You don't even you don't even care. You nasty you ass. I bet you didn't even change the damn sheets. Oh Stop and talk to me, damn it! No, I told you we're done talking. He's done with you. Okay, ladies. What ladies. the hell are you mean he's okay, done with okay, me? Ladies, ladies. Since when? You're I wanna know boss. since when! It's been a I've long been time. I've been with him yeah. six damn years. Better take this bitch out of my... You! I'm gonna damn it! Kick your ass. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Okay. So damn, I'd like to see Straight you try. Straight up, I mean, trip, bitch. Home-wrecking bitch. <laughs> I get you go to hell. He's not happy with you. I don't give a what you say. Get the hell off me. Right. You the one bringing the circus on. Bye. What Bye. the... Bye. What the... He's mine. No, incorrect. I'm not yours. Get out of here. You have to get out of my way. Go to hell. Who do you think you are? You Jesus or something? You're some kind of martyr? I think I'm great. That's who I think I am. Right. If you were unhappy with the way things were going, why didn't you move out? I am moving out. Okay, yeah, but you haven't told anyone. I want you to get your you out. out. I you paid the out. out. Do you hear me? Get you your Oh. La, Out! La, 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 la. Uh, you see, now that uh, retard. It's okay. Very you don't know. It's okay. Spell retard. You want your? It's gonna be on fire if you don't get it out of my house tonight. Guys, let's get in a little room. It's like Barnum and Bailey, Jerry Springer, Sarah Palin Circus. We wouldn't need to be here if you'd be able to handle your business. Do you love this woman? I'm not in love with anybody right now. We just have fun. You together. don't even love her, and you're gonna move in with her. He hates you. Yeah. <laughs> what the do you know, bitch? Oh, I know more than you. The damn tramp. Yeah. Why yeah, are you doing this to me? You did it to me a long time ago. I've been with him six years. Well, isn't, this, isn't this the song he was singing just just five ridiculous. minutes ago? If he was able to have this conversation with her, we wouldn't need to be here. Oh, boy. I tried and tried and tried. He just wait. He'll do you, you the tried same to way. What? I you tried. I tried he to let her know. He won't cheat on you. you he said never, I didn't even love you. Never around. Don't worry about you just me. said that you oh, stuck around because you yeah. thought you had something. You put up with his little. I don't want him anymore. I can do better anyway. <laughs> yeah, I can see. They created the circus your thing. First uh, political, whatever the hell. Your first political lie. That's great. Yeah, well, at least I got a lie. Congratulations. Tramp, some mongrels. That's all you got. Yeah, well, and three you legs. You loser. Three You're going to die alone. Fat uh, and bald. Better than dying with you. Yeah, with little lip. Shut up. Have a nice career. Bastard. I hope you break. Sarah Palin, my best. You all right? Yeah. I'm glad to get him out of my life. After the confrontation, Eve is shocked by her boyfriend's callous actions. Stay tuned when we reveal whether or not she returns to the pack. But now, Ray Ray returns to reveal his distinctive point of view when confronted by Sharonda Epps on Cheaters. I was giving the edge up to one of my customers, you know? I just see, you know, I just felt something slap me. Somebody slapped me. I looked back, and it was Sharonda. It was just crazy, man. It was a crazy day. What is this? Hey, hold on, you. Who is this bitch? Who the is this bitch? Who the is this bitch? Who the is this bitch? Hey, I'm. No more, Me and Didi, it wasn't nothing serious. We never, you know, we were just friends. We just went out a couple of times, you know. We just had a good time. That's that's about it. I really actually never had no girlfriends, you know. I might lay my head down here, 
I lay down over there. I was just, you know, I really, you know, I really never just had a girlfriend. I'm a single young man ready to mingle. So I have, you know, I have my rights to do what I want to do. At this moment, I don't mess with Dee Dee or Sharonda, you know. If I wanted them, I could have them, but I don't want now one of them, so, because my life is flowing right now. I don't need no negativity in my life, like right now, you know. Yeah, my, you know, my album's about to drop. You know, it's coming stores September 25th. Yeah, featuring Gucci Man and Young Jeezy, you know. I got a lot of stuff flowing right now. Eve Cullen appears relieved to have washed her hands of the man she once hoped to call her husband. Eve plans to move on with her life and looks for someone who can appreciate a strong and confident woman. She continues to aspire one day to run for office and has her sights set on helping people. For his part, Brian Hill states that his relationship with Eve ended a long time ago. Hill is pleased to have all this out in the open and be free from the shackles Eve had him in for so long. Sylvia was uncooperative, but briefly spoke with Cheater's producers. She said, I am with an amazing man. Hey, please. Get out of my face! Oh my God! You are a cheater! Now you're a comedian! That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real Reality Television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on Cheaters. Questioning her boyfriend's after work activities, Maria Hernandez is a woman at the end of her rope. With nowhere left to turn, Maria puts her faith and her future in the hands of professionals. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. His time was like, it's not really with me anymore. He's a lot distant. He doesn't really care much for me, I guess. He used to call me and text me just to at least tell me that he loves me or that he misses me. And now all of that's just gone. He doesn't do anything like that anymore. And I've rarely been to his house. Um, when I ask to spend the night, he always has some excuse. Talk, uh, he talks that his mom's there or something like that. And he makes it a point to isolate me and not have me around. And that really hurts me because I want to be there. I want to be around his family for them to know me. I don't talk to anybody about this. I don't want to tell my family about it because I don't want them to think bad of him because I know he's a good guy. You know, I've gave my all and I just, I don't know how much of this I can take. I, I don't know, he's just not giving me anything in return. It's, it just hurts, it's frustrating. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I love but if he is cheating, I'm just done with this. I'm done with this cycle, I probably, I'm just, I'm done with this. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Suspect's identity withheld, age 24. A construction worker suspected of building a new relationship with another woman. Investigation day two. After being dispatched, Cheater's operatives track the suspect at his place of employment. Several minutes later, agents on duty watch the suspect, whose identity remains withheld, heading on to his truck, presumably at the end of his workday. After getting into his vehicle, the suspect departs for the next destination. Several miles away, the suspect arrives at an unknown apartment complex. He exits his car and disappears between two buildings. Moments later, he emerges with an unknown female in tow. The suspect and his companion get cozy in the car before the two depart. Mobile units follow the couple until they finally arrive at an eatery. 
They take a spot outside on the patio and sit close to one another. The suspect rests his arm around his date as they enjoy a couple of cold brews. Finally tiring of their business, the pair exit and return to the suspect's car. They're followed back to the apartment complex from earlier surveillance. And then the two head inside, not to be seen for the remainder of the day. Investigation day four. Cheaters detectives once again diligently stake out the suspect's workplace. Hours later, P.I.s spot the suspect as he makes his way to the car. To investigators' surprise, the female from earlier surveillance, now identified only as Mariana, arrives with lunch. The suspect shows his appreciation with a kiss before the couple get comfortable in the cab of the truck. The two eat their meals and enjoy the air conditioning and each other's company. The suspect's double dealings are on full display in this recorded phone call with Maria. After half an hour, the two get out of the car and have a long kiss for dessert. Mariana finally relinquishes her grasp on her man and lets him return to work. She exits the job site in her car as the suspect returns to his office. Investigation day six. Outside the suspect's work, field operatives survey the scene and wait for the other shoe to drop. Cheater's PIs notice the suspect as he knocks off work early. Detectives are not at all surprised to find the suspect again arriving at the apartment complex from prior surveillance. After parking, the suspect heads into the apartment. After further background details emerge, it is learned that the suspect resides in the apartment with his wife, Mariana. About an hour after arriving home, the suspect and his wife appear dressed to go swimming. They descend the stairs and wind their way through the complex to the pool. Once there, their passion is obvious. The suspect admires his wife as she plays in the water. He's apparently happily married, as evidenced by the amount of kissing and cuddling the couple enjoy. The twosome play for quite some time before finally gathering up their belongings and returning to the apartment for the remainder of the day. With confirmation of the suspect's transgressions, Cheaters prepares a dossier for Maria. Coming up, the confrontation. With her boyfriend's secret family uncovered, the facts are brought to an anxious Maria. Without any reluctance, she agrees to meet, hoping the truth will finally set her troubled mind at ease. You contacted us with some questions about what might be taking place or what you were uncertain of in your relationship with. Now, our detectives have some information that they felt it was very important for you to see. I know you've waited patiently, but are you prepared to look at that information now? Yeah. Maria, as we began our investigation, we had a detective outside of the job site where it works. Mm -hmm. At the end of the workday, on this particular afternoon, he was followed until he arrived at an apartment. Yeah, that's where he took me. So that's where he lives? Yeah. Uh, he gets out of his truck, mm -hmm. goes inside, and a short time later, obviously cleaned up and changed, he exits with a young lady. They get into his SUV and were followed until they arrived at this location. We see that they go in, they have dinner, after dinner, they get back into his SUV and they return back to his apartment. And that's where they stayed. On this day of our investigation, around about noon, mm -hmm. the same young lady that we've seen him dine with previously 
brings him lunch. They take some time sitting in his SUV. And once they've completed their meal, she goes to leave. We see go over, give her a kiss, and he goes back to work. Maria, on this day, we were again at job site. He leaves this afternoon, was followed back to his residence. He goes inside. And not long after that, he exits dressed in swimwear with the same young lady. They spend a romantic afternoon frolicking in the pool before they go inside and again spend the rest of the evening there. I'm so wrong. Now I'm going to be very direct and I'm sorry if we have to move quite quickly at mm -hmm. this point. We've established that on Fridays, this young lady brings lunch mm -hmm. and she brings it to his job site. Oh, yeah? And we're very close to where he's been working now. All right. And it's getting close to lunchtime. Are you prepared to continue? Yes. And you're certain this is something you want to do? Yeah. Okay, why don't you come with me and we'll call the detective for me. Right. Yeah, hey, we just finished up and uh, and we're moving towards you. Is, is anything happening on that end? So she's there right now? Okay, perfect. We're moving. And they're in his SUV? Gotcha. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. Okay, well, she got there a little while ago. And uh, they're, they're in his SUV having lunch again. Right. You're going to be okay to do this? Yes. No, we're getting close right now. Okay, there's his SUV. All right, guys. This is it. Here we go. Right there, out. Right there, out passenger. Bitch, what's the f out, Holmes? Get the f out the car. Who the f is? Who the f is? Oh, hell no, bitch. Get the f out the car. Get the f out the car. You get the f out the car. Who the f is? No, no, bitch. What the f? Easy, easy. Hands down, everybody. Nah, nah. Why is she? Why is she? Nah, nah, bitch. You want to talk? Coming up next, the conclusion. All right. Yeah. We're You're building a house of lies. I don't even know who she is. Well, her parents know you. I don't. Her I don't parents know, her. know you. I don't even know Are her. You
Probably a mistake, okay? Look, look. Oh no. Probably a mistake, okay? They trying to find out. Look, look. Come here. So we made this up. Let's get out of here. They probably made this up. Let's get out of here. Come on. Stupid. Come on. Well, ma'am, we know. We've been following. Get in the truck. Oh, now you want her to go with you? Get in my truck. I don't know you. Stupid. Nothing, ho. Stupid. Come on. Well, ma'am, we know that you bring him lunch every Friday. Uh oh. Uh oh. Back up. Watch out. Watch out, guys. Do that. Yeah. Why everybody knows? Why everybody knows? Make it known. Bitches. Obviously. So, now what? And you still gonna hop in this car like a dumbass? Actually, actually no, I'ma hop in this don't... car. car. Huh? Oh, that don't... matter. What? Hop in this what? Bag. How much did you suck to get what? that? You suck. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Because this this know. is gonna follow you, uh, ma'am. If you need any more information, let us know. Thank because you. we have plenty of information yeah, to give you. I if you need, this, if you need to confirm any of the things that he's been saying or anything that's happening here today, let us know. Okay. And we'll be happy to provide you all the information we have. Thank you. Good luck. I don't know where I'm going tonight. I don't know where going. All right, watch out, guys. Watch out. Following the confrontation, Maria's upset she didn't see this sooner. At the end of the show, we'll update you on how she's coping. But first, Clive Athens comes in to explain his actions when caught with another woman on Cheaters. At first I thought it was some kind of promo for the, the place, but then all the cameras started coming toward me. Then, you know, the wheels started turning. And then out of nowhere, here comes Natasha, who has a, an astonishingly good right hook. Don't touch the camera. What? 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 Ow! Oh, I thought that Natasha had had an abortion without telling me. I just made a really, I presumed something uh, when I saw a pregnancy test in the trash in the bathroom. And it just happened to be her girlfriend's. I thought she was in the wrong. And after finding out what I later knew to be the truth, I'm really sorry about it. No, I found, the, get away from here. I found get that away. pregnancy get away. test. I did. There's a yes. Oh. A positive pregnancy no. test. No, yeah, that wasn't Going. mine. That wasn't mine. What are you doing? doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? You're, you're, my, you're, my, you're, my, you're my, my buddy. You're am my buddy. Am I going with you or are you going with them? No, get away. 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 I need 
to uh, keep my ego in check, possibly, and uh, you know, try to maybe start over. And I made a huge mistake, possibly the, the biggest mistake I've ever made. I, but it's too late. Still in shock by the revelations brought out in the confrontation, Maria Hernandez says she's happy to finally know the truth. As she puts the pieces of her life back together, she's optimistic that she'll one day find the man of her dreams. The suspect had no comment at this time. The suspect's wife, Mariana, however, was more than eager to speak. She says, I had no idea what was going on. Apparently, he was cheating on me the entire marriage. She's currently living with... Real reality television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on cheaters. The irresistible force of love that drew Alan Swift and his girlfriend together has rapidly devolved into mistrust and turmoil. With behavior that's suspiciously familiar to previous betrayals, Alan is left with only one place to turn. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. I met Ellie through uh, my friend Curtis about four years ago. Um, she was living with him then one thing led to another and you know we just kind of started becoming intimate and uh i knew it was wrong i you know it was my best friend uh, i really didn't plan on 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 you know hooking up with ellie uh and behind behind his back but you know we just got along so well we just just happened so when ellie and i started dating uh curtis and i really weren't friends anymore he was uh, he was really bummed out about the whole thing, so he, he moved away. And a couple of months ago, um, he came back, and it was awesome. I was, you know, he's always been like a brother to me. We went to the same elementary school together. You know, we grew up together. So whenever Ellie and I hang out now, and Curtis comes up, things start to get a little weird, you know. I mean, I know they have a past, but, you know, it was a long time ago. And, and she just acts really weird, like she never wants to talk to him, doesn't want to be around him. You know, she, she's more erratic, you know, she gets into arguments more, and she's just not really the same person that, that I, you know, that I fell in love with. If she's out there sleeping with somebody else, you know, being with somebody else, uh, I mean, I just don't know what to do. Um, you know, maybe it's payback, I don't know. I mean, I, if, if, I, if I stole her from Curtis, you know, maybe this, maybe this is things coming, you know, f full circle back to me, I don't know, but I just really hope she's not out there cheating. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Ellie Garner, age 26. A food server suspected of reheating her love for an old flame. Investigation Day 2. Without reliable intel regarding the suspect's behavior, Bravo team covering her home observed the target, Ellie Garner, departing in her car. Agents pursue Garner's vehicle for 15 minutes before she arrives at her destination. Garner exits her minivan and heads to a movie theater's ticket booth. Upon her purchase, she makes her way inside. Two hours pass before Miss Garner is reacquired, and it appears she's accrued an unknown male to keep her company. The two totter into the parking lot with their arms intertwined. They end their romantic amble by Garner's van. The two enter the vehicle and spend an inordinate amount of time making out inside. The heavy petting ultimately ends after a few final kisses, and Garner's friend disembarks from the van. The suspect pulls out of the parking lot and returns home for the remainder of the evening. Investigation Day 4. Cheaters agents again watch the suspect once she leaves work and begins running errands. She's tailed by mobile units to a local restaurant. Her companion from previous surveillance is seen waiting at a table. 
agents positively identified Curtis Slavin, Allen's ex-roommate, and Garner's ex-lover. After a brief discussion, the couple enter the eating establishment. Less than 10 minutes go by before observers capture the two spilling out into the street with Slavin pleading for Garner to stay. The suspect ignores her paramour's appeal, leaving Slavin to stomp like a spoiled child. Mobile units track Garner to her home, and internal surveillance cameras placed earlier by Allen capture her entrance. Ready to call it a night, perimeter units are quite surprised when they see Slavin arrive and march up to the apartment door. He knocks loudly and barely waits for the door to open before he swallows his ex-girlfriend in a fiery embrace. Garner quickly succumbs to his advances, taking the lead into the bedroom. An hour later, the drained duo bid farewell before Alan's imminent return. Investigation Day 6. With the sun burning hot in the sky, perimeter units spy their mark as she exits her home. Dressed casually, Garner enters her van and is followed through the tree-lined side streets to an unknown apartment complex. Garner parks, gathers her belongings, and makes her way through the units to the pool area. Ground units struggle to keep up as she greets her immoral conspirator already lounging by the pool. The two play Marco Polo, but Alan is the fish out of water in this recorded phone call with Garner. Having seen enough, agents pull their forces and return to headquarters to begin compiling the data for Allen's enlightenment. Coming up, the confrontation. With the suspect's treachery captured on tape, Allen is approached with the findings. Tormented by past conduct, Alan sets forth on the path to discover the truth. Thank you for responding as quickly as you did, Alan. We have compiled information that will provide some of the answers you have questions to. And do you want to see that evidence now? If it's there, then I guess I need to. Early in our investigation, we had a detective that was outside of your residence. We observe Ellie leaving the house. She gets in her car, drives to a movie theater. After purchasing a ticket, she goes inside alone. About two and a half hours later, we see she exits, but she's met someone in the theater. They walk out to the car. He gets into the passenger side and they share some heated moments in the front seat. So revved were his engines that he had a difficult time pulling himself out. He finally takes his leave, Ellie departs, and heads on home after that. Now we had you place some hidden cameras inside your apartment. And because of that, we were able to capture some of this information. A detective was still outside. They observe a car arriving. Out of that car emerges the same gentleman, your friend Curtis. There's a knock on the door. Ellie goes to answer. And as soon as she opens the door, Curtis engulfs her. They take their misdoings into the bedroom. And sometime later, she walks into the door and he leaves. The reason that we contacted you today, Alan, quite simply, after work today, Ellie left her place of employment and went to the restaurant where we've determined that Curtis works. I'll call the detective now and get an update on what's been going on. Hey, we're on our way right now. 
Are they still there? So they're in between, in between lunch and dinner service. It looks like the restaurant shut down, but there's a group that's just sitting around having drinks. Okay, we're about to exit right now, so we shouldn't be more than a couple of minutes away. If anything changes, let me know. Okay, we'll look for you in the street. All right, there's the detective, and there's the restaurant. Slow down. Okay. All right, everybody out. All right, come on. Everybody stay back. What's happening? Yeah, right right through that here. gate? They're all the way in the back. Okay. All right. You ready? All right, let's go. All right. Now go. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa. Son of a bitch! Coming up, the conclusion. Right through that gate. They're all the way in the back. Son of a bitch! ago and we've been dating for three years i know three and i years. know i love you but i love him you love me and enough I to go somebody else i loved him too and i'm just confused <laughs> baby stop i'm sorry i'm sorry please don't be mad stop can we talk about this can we can we talk about this calmly this you guys can't be doing this cheaters hey 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 call hey. cheaters but ellie does this surprise you how long do you think that do you be able Oh. I I really didn't think that it was going to go on for very long. I didn't think it was going to happen at all. I tried to break it off. I did. I talked to him about it. I yeah, did. I was going to stop. I was going to stop. stop. I tried. I, you were going to stop. I shouldn't have ever started. I just... You guys... He and I, oh, what? what a... Bullshit. I'm not okay. No. Why can't you talk to me? Huh? You got something to say? You say it to me? Why don't you say it to me? Come on. Kill you. Everybody, you gotta go somewhere. You got words? Stay back. What are your words? You gotta get out of here. Or you wanna call cheaters? Get Joey Greco out of here. Get the camera crew out of here, man. Well, what we do? Or are you just trying to get back at him, Curtis? Get back at him? No. No. That's why I don't even want to. I don't have anything to say to you. Cameras everywhere. Bullshit, man. Shut the up. You want to talk? You want to fight? You want to throw it out some more? Shut the up. I'm saying. Huh? Get out of the foliage. Pick him up. Let's respect the environment. What do you got to say, huh? Get up, man. Huh? Stay That's how you treat a brother, huh? I just had to come back and get what was mine. Hey, hey, Alex. Three get out of here, man. Three okay, hey, what? Oh. Get out of here. Stop it. Huh? Three years. It comes full circle, mother. It comes full circle. Let's go. This is how it is? I don't know how it ends. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know. 
I know, know you do. No. We talked about I this. Don't, what? We talked about this. I talked about this. Who are you leaving with? This. You have I a don't... choice. I don't you have, have a choice. choice. Yes, what you have I a choice. What am I supposed to do? Who am I supposed You're to do? You're supposed to leave with me because you know. You're That's gone for low. a year. You come back and f my girlfriend. You had your chance. Your girlfriend, my You had chance? your chance. You're right. You know what? I love her and I loved her and I let her go. I tell you yeah, what, you did. She came right back. It's the same way. Same way it was. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, you Come on! Oh, come on! I'm gonna go. You guys fight. I'm out of here. All right, guys. We need it. We need to clear out. What's up? Cameras on my face. Clear out. Over. Over. Hell. Hell. No, stop it. Hell. Come on. Don't do this. Stop it. Because I'm not going to call cheaters. Hell. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, you know what this is about. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's just get our heads over. Leave with the damn camera's not playing. Because I'll get on you guys, too. After the confrontation, Alan is forced to face the veracity of his own devious actions. At the end of the show, we'll inform you on how he's progressing. But now, please welcome the complacent party from the Haley Mahoney case, wishing to shed some light regarding her abnormal actions when caught on cheaters. Well, we met through Haley, because Haley and I had been friends for a really long time. And I always secretly knew that he really wanted me, not her. I mean, you can just tell the way guys are. Sly flirting with me here and there. And uh, one night, you know, I went over to Haley's house where they live, and Haley wasn't there, so we ended up hooking up, and then it was a continuous thing ever since. What the hell? No! What the hell? What the hell? No, you didn't take it up with no. me! Oh my god, you had to let your head down! I didn't even... Oh, I did You're not putting your... What? Do you know how I... Oh my god, what... This thing that you've said to me! Less guys than you have. I will... She's crazy. She kept trying to fight me, and I kept trying to push her away, telling her, no, calm down, he loves me, he wants to be with me. And she just wouldn't believe it. She wouldn't take no for an answer. You know, Joaquin was a little mean to me, but it's to be understanding. He didn't know what to do. The girl that he's caught, you know, he's got caught. He's with me. She's catching him. Of course he's going to be mean to me, but I don't know hard feelings. I know he loves me. I do not even want her anymore. I never wanted her. It just fell, no. <laughs> just fell into it. You love me. I no. still love you. You no, no, don't. You don't. Don't. Hey. No. You okay, love look, me. This shut the hell up. For one second, shut up. up. That's I know, bitch! You asked me all Shit! Crazy! You! Crazy. you Where? I got the no. edge with the... No. no! I honestly believe that he wants me. Not Haley. I don't think he wants anything to do with her, but because of their past, I think he's scared to break it off with her. I mean, I know that he's going to come back to me, and I hope he sees this. Please, please, just show this to him and let him know everything I did, everything I did was for him just to prove how much I loved him, to prove how much I wanted to be with him. Feeling hurt and betrayed, Alan Swift is trying to find a way to move on. He says that his love for Ellie Garner is so great that the prospect of losing her is too much to bear. Alan refuses to leave the apartment he and Ellie share, but admits the once cozy home has turned cold. For her part, Ellie Garner claims she never meant to rekindle the romance with her former lover, Curtis Slavin. Garner has agreed to no contact with Slavin, but admits it's hard to stay away. Curtis Slavin sees the whole situation as, quote, manifest destiny. He believes that it was right to come back and reclaim what was his. Slavin offers this solution. Ellie, he says, I know you're not supposed to talk to me, but we can leave tonight or tomorrow or whenever you are ready and be together forever the way our hearts want it to be. 
and of this airing, Garner and Slavin. Get out of my face! Oh my God! You are a cheater! Now you're a comedian! That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real reality television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on cheaters. After noticing changes in her husband's dress and behavior, Ramonda Hammer now has grave concerns regarding his current acquaintances. Afraid that his lifestyle is leading to infidelity, Ramonda pleads for help before it's too late. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. Um, I think he's just in a selfish mode right now. He's an older guy, so for some reason, maybe he thinks he's losing it, you know. I've, I've always felt like him being older and me being younger, um, we kind of even out because older guys do go out to look at the younger women. And he has all that at home, so there's no reason to go out, you know, soul searching anywhere else. I've asked him, you know, when he's going out, I can get a babysitter, you know, take me with you. No, I'm going out with the guys, you know, and I know that the guys he hang out with, they cheat on their wives all the time. And I've asked him, you know, to change the friends that he keep or to at least, you know, involve me in what's going on and to shut me out completely is also another sign that I'm taking that something is wrong. Here recently, I went and bought tickets for us to take the kids to the circus. He was supposed to meet us. He never showed up. Halfway through the circus, I called and there was noise in the background and everything. So it sounded like he was out. I'm thinking, when are things gonna change? I'm happy in my marriage, but I'm not gonna take anything off of him. And I'm going to school to better myself, to better our family. I love him a lot. I just want him to be with me and my kids and give me everything that he promised. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Rusty Hammer, age 50. A driver accused of illegally using the LOV lane. Investigation day one. Hoping to crack the case quickly, Cheaters P.I. set up a perimeter around the house the suspect and his wife share. They spot the suspect's vehicle departing the apartment building. Mobile units follow the sedan down the roadway until it comes to rest across the street from a liquor store. The suspect, Rusty Hammer, emerges from his car and leans against its fender as if waiting for someone. Less than five minutes pass before the agents spot another vehicle approach. Out of the vehicle pops an unknown female. Hammer and the woman clasp hands and share a long embrace. Hammer escorts his much younger consort across the street and into the liquor store. They exit a few minutes later with their merchandise. Back across the street they go and enter Hammer's vehicle. Agents have a hard time identifying internal movement because of the windshield's glare. About 30 minutes later, Hammer and his young lady emerge and return to her car. A long kiss goodbye ends this day of investigation as the two go their separate ways. Investigation day two. Perimeter units keep track of the suspect as he drives out of his gated community. Hammer speeds down the road and follows a familiar path to his meeting area. Agents notice that he's dressed quite garishly for this afternoon rendezvous. Another 15 minutes pass before the object of Hammer's desire finally arrives. He hurriedly greets his eye candy, now identified only as Moni, with another hug and kiss hello. He sets her into the passenger seat of his car and secretly steals a kiss before heading into the beverage barn. It appears that he's somewhat of a celebrity around these parts as he makes small talk with another patron. 
Hammer pulls back into his car with his purchase and relaxes in the seat. The couple seem to enjoy each other's company as they laugh and kiss one another. After quite a long makeout session, Moni and Hammer depart from the vehicle. The suspect has to have one more handful before he lets his prize disappear. Investigation Day 4. After taking a day off, Hammer is at it again. Perimeter units follow him from his apartment building to his usual stomping ground. While the suspect awaits Moni's arrival, this recorded phone call with his wife sheds some light on Hammer's home life. Hello? Hey, what you doing? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm down at, at the mall. I just made it home. You need to get home. Uh, I'll be there in a little while. This little while thing is getting kind of old. You oh. know, I just got in from studying. I'm trying to get home to my family, and you know where to be found. I'll be there in a minute. I'll break it off, okay? Baby, you know I love you. You're the one for me. Don't you feel that? I love you, too. I love you a lot. Just click your head. Click that stuff out of your head, man. I love you, baby. I'll see you soon. All right, baby. Love you, too. Bye. The May-December romance is in full bloom as Hammer and Moni get hot and heavy in the interior of the car. Agents can only speculate as to the actual activity occurring, but a picture is worth a thousand words. With more than enough evidence implicating infidelity, detectives close the case file and prepare a full report for Ramonda's review. Coming up, The Confrontation. With her husband's flagrant philandering on full display, Ramonda is contacted for a briefing. Overwrought with anxiety, Ramonda focuses on her family before viewing the facts. Early this evening, we had a detective outside of your residence. Rusty emerges, leaves the apartment complex in his vehicle, drives, parks under an overpass. But on this day, we see that he's dressed a little more formally. Well, well, not long after he arrived, young lady gets out, there's an embrace. They walk over to his vehicle, she gets inside. Rusty walks to the liquor store, makes a purchase, walks back to his vehicle, and from there, we can see the two of them in a semi-amorous exchange. Oh, Lord. We couldn't help but notice that he's got a little spring in his step now as he walks back to his vehicle and returns home. On this evening, we were again outside of your community. Rusty returns back to the parking structure. Not long after that, arrives his lady friend. They walk over to the liquor store get some more adult beverages, and get back into Rusty's car, and this. Oh, wow. Oh, really? I don't know what he's thinking. After some time, they exit the vehicle. He walks her to her car. He gets back in his. They exit the scene of the crime. Let me call the detective and see if I can get an update. Gomez. What do you have? So he is down there right now? The girl's there now as well? We're less than a mile away. All right, we're headed there right now. All right, we got it. You see us? All right, I see it. Left hand. Sounds good. All right. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. It's Mitsubishi right here to the right, Silver Park. Oh, really? Really? Who is that? Who is that? Who is Damn. Huh? Damn. Get open the door. Open the door. My camera. Who are you, bitch? Get out of my car. Get out. Get out. Get out. Talk to me like a real woman. Get your ass out the mother car. Get out. Rusty? Get can out. You, can you explain Get out the car. to your wife? Who are you? What's right. that? Three kids? 
is a friend. She Married? Don't Thank it. What? Friend? Bitch, you don't have no friend. You see? Get out of my mother car. Right, no, hey, hey, Get guys, your ass out of my down. mother down. car. Get out and talk to me. Be a woman. Get out and talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Who this old gangster bitch you got? I'm going to be your gangster man, bitch today, man, though. Say, man, say man what? Five years? Five years? Five years? Calm down. What you bring all this down here for? What you bring all this down here for? Cuz, what you cheating for? I ain't this is a friend. Do you see me cheating? No. Ain't no I damn body. I'm a hammer in your ass. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to see her mother. You ain't doing nothing. Hugging and kissing. You ain't doing that with me. Coming up next, the conclusion. The girl's there now as well. You know he married? Three kids? He's a prince. You bring all this down here for Cuz, what you cheating for? No, now no, what you gonna do? Huh? Me no, and do no, Me no, and do Let really? me know, eh? And it is? Eh? What tell me, who are you? you? Who are you? Hey, hey, hey. Who are you? Hey, hey. hey. young lady is taking away from your family and your wife and your son? Yeah, I understand all that. Rusty, we've had detectives that have followed you here on a number of different occasions, and we see you kissing this young lady. Okay. We see you... Now, how would you feel if your wife was doing that behind your back? I ain't seen none of that. Man, I don't want to hear that. You want, you want me to that. show you? I don't want to see none of that. You, show you? you ain't got none of that. You, let me have it. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll do this. You just go for anything. You see? You don't to say nothing about you. Hey. Where's the, where's the film at, Hot Shot? Oh, we're getting Ain't it. Ain't no film. That's what I thought. We're getting it. We're getting it. No, stick around. 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 Stick Remember the day that you were going to church with your family? Is that a, is that church with your the family? Day you left in that barn. Oh, look at you in the car with this girl. What girl? Oh, oh, oh. that girl. Speechless. Where are you going? I told you. I told you. It's oh, man, with that. Where are you going? Where are you going? I can have any man I want. I chose to be with you. I understand that. What is, okay, I'll tell you what. Cancel your dog. Call your dog. Call your dogs off All right. and get in that damn car then. I'm not going with you. I'm not going with you. I suggest y'all move the hell out the way before I run over your ass. You ain't going to run over nobody. All right. D Rusty, do you, do you care about your wife? Yeah, I care about her. All right. Do you think she feels that, the way you've been acting? Because she wasn't happy, and she tried to What's talk that? to you about it. Okay, watch out, watch out. And she What's tried that? to talk. Don't. Huh? No, no, no. That's not necessary. That's not necessary. Wearing this Stop. Come on now, let's not talk like that. It's gonna be wearing this mother. Let's not try to calm the hell down, man. All right, you calm down so we can talk. Pull it out so we can talk. Pull it out so we can talk. Damn cameras. 
No. Okay. Hang on. Let's let's calm down and just let's let's everyone take a break for a second. Can we just go talk without all this? Shit? Yes, I I want you yes, to do that. Please. Okay, let's, let's call them up. Let's go somewhere and talk. Can you do that? Yeah. Damn, man. All these mother cameras in my face. If you want to go home, if you want to leave together, you're more than welcome to do that. Do you have anything in the car or anything back at the office that you need? Just my phone and the van. In the van? Okay. If you want to do that, we'll just get microphones. If you want to go ahead and get in the car, then we'll come get our microphones from you and you guys can go talk about whatever you need to. Okay? That will be great. All right. All right. Following the confrontation, a devastated Ramonda confirms she needs some time to sort out her family's problems. At the end of the show, we'll disclose what her future holds. But first, Sarah Blessing returns to reveal how she's overcome her boyfriend's betrayal after confronting him on Cheaters. We always made fun of her. She was crazy. And her apartment smelled like cat pee because she had like 57 cats or something. And, you know, this is a person that, for whom he had expressed, you know, revulsion and blah, blah, blah. Makes me wonder how he talked about me when I wasn't around, you know, to her. But I was paving his way for life. I was doing everything. I was his lifeline to humanity. But to have him do that with someone that I thought we had this little team joke about, and then it was just very disloyal, I think is a good way to say it. I, I think that that was the thing that enraged me the most. What the <laughs> What are you doing? Jesus Christ! What are you doing? What are you for you? It's a damn cat lady. What the is wrong with you? Oh, no. oh, is that what she likes? She when cat lady likes the fish? Jesus Christ! We were children when we met and when we got together. Um, so, so I grew up. David didn't. What I'm realizing now is that relationship never could have lasted. No, even if this hadn't happened, I'm, you know, looking back, I'm glad it did, but uh, it would have taken a lot for me to pull out of that relationship. Of course I was sad, of course I was horrified, but looking back, a huge part of it was just, oh my God, it's over. See, that, that my you been? No. You have not been taking care of him, where the you been? Where the your husband? Where's Does he my know? Husband? What do you mean, where's my husband? You do not bring him up. At least I got two men. Where's your man? Where's your man? Stupid bitch. Where's your man? Where's your man? Where's your man? Where's your man? Huh? Where's your man? I am worth exactly. more than you have ever yeah. been. You're I hope he paid you yeah. well, you stupid yeah. You're worth way more than I am. Where's your this is really the first time in our relationship that I listened to my intuition, listened to what I needed to do for myself. Um, so I think that Cheaters helped me make my first big girl step. Um, Cheaters was very important. Despite the blatant betrayal by her husband, Ramonda Hammer wants to give their marriage another try. Ramonda has sought a family counselor to help transform her broken marriage into a strong and trusting institution. Looking back on his actions, Rusty Hammer now claims he may have crossed the line, but his behavior never rose to the level of infidelity. Hammer's going to a family counselor now, but also states, if that's what she wants me to do for her peace of mind, that is what I'm going to do. She is my wife. I love her, and I want to keep her happy. <laughs> 